I just made a video one day for fun. It was talking about like people who claim to be from the city of Boston who aren't actually from the city. Like, I actually reached out to Damian Harris when I got like 30,000 followers. I was like, yo, I'd love to come cook for you. So we're back. The long-awaited episode 101 of the Dan and Ninko Show. I know the last one was a long time ago because this guy, Dan, went across the freaking country. What, the, the fr- world. Across the world. The world. Across the world. Yeah. Who the hell wants to go across the world? Where'd you go, buddy? Another, Dubai? Uh, Bali. Oh, oh Bali. Same. Yeah, it sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Medical same emergency. Further. Medical same. emergency. Dead. You're fucking dead. If you go have any issues, go to Africa and have an issue. They got like, if you have a snake bite in Africa, you're dead. <laughs> My wife broke her foot in Bali. How'd it do? I saw that the, they put a cast on her. Her foot was like pointed down. It's not the way, to, the way, that, the way the boat was broken. Cast it that way. Oh, Does she have surgery yet? Uh, no, she's there today. You're Go not there? Out. No. Am I supposed to do Whatever. that? Well, hey, we got a fun episode today, episode 101. We're going to dive into a few things. Number one, number one being, we got the lovely Tommy... Tommy, what's your what's your last name on this one? Because I want to get it correct. I don't want to be I don't want to be inappropriate here because you know yeah, you're the Italian. Italian. Italians get offended. If you fuck it up, <laughs> you might get a cuff in the head. Uh, it's Garino, Garino, Garino. Because my buddy's name is Gardino. Gardino. Okay. Yeah, it's like similar similar spelling, but there's a yeah. D. Similar letters. Yeah. Similar letters. It yeah, I never heard of case. Like, I never heard of Gardino. There's a lot of Garinos though. Garino's like a pretty popular like, name. G- I say Giardino, but then yeah. he's like, yeah, you're not saying it right. I get a lot of DMs from people. They're like, oh, my last name's Garino. We might be related. I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, we're all technically related, right? I mean, whatever. Yeah. And this guy does some funny ass shit on Thank Instagram. you, man. Appreciate and it. You yeah, do the really. TikToks. And you yeah, do the, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got the wig. And you do the Bill Belichick. Yep. You do the whole thing. Bill, it makes me Bill. laugh my ass off. Laugh Thank you, man. Yeah, no, we're trying to... We're trying to get more creative and create. It's it's just crazy, like from starting from like two years ago to where it is now. Yeah, it's insane. But yeah, we've been doing it together. He does a good Steve Belichick. Uh, you do a Steve, you know a good, Steve. A good Steve. Yeah. I know he, Steve does, he does pretty, a good yeah. Steve. He's you Steve. didn't see the Steve. Yeah, yeah I saw the Steve. Oh, you've seen the oh. Steve. Yeah. What yeah, if no. you met Steve? Rob is good friends Neville. with Steve. What if you met Steve? I need to meet Steve. It has Rob's to be good friends with him. I'm pretty good friends oh, yeah. with Steve. He doesn't does. answer his phone calls. Yeah. Oh, no, that's really? not true. Yeah. They're they're freaking coaching right now. Right. Yeah, they're busy. They were on vacation. They were they were not. They on vacation before a twelve month freaking job. They're never home. But anyway, so. I want to talk about. We're gonna dive into a couple of things. Number one being Southie. Okay, you go, you're on Southie. Southie. Not Southie. Southie. I'm no, from I know. Eastie. I'm saying I'm from Boston. Where? We're East from East Boston. Boston. Easty. We're from Easty. Get excuse yeah. him. Wow. You know, the Midwest. It's all right. Comes big difference. So it's a big difference. Yeah. South Boston, East Boston. It's different. Well, what the fuck's what's the yeah. North End then? What it's all neighborhoods. Neighborhoods. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different thing. Different yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. It's actually funny. People actually get like really offended if like you, yeah. <laughs> if you like claim to be from a neighborhood or a part and you're of Boston, not from and you're that not, neighborhood. especially if you're from the suburbs and you claim to be from Boston. It's like a big, big. Okay, thing. so go. Let's go through the neighborhoods. Okay. Yeah. So you got East Boston. You got East. South Boston. You got, you got South. Charlestown. You got Charlestown. Charlestown. North End. North End. You got South End. Dorchester, Roxbury, West Madison, Roxbury, Brighton, Alston. Right. Yeah. Brighton, it's, Alston. It's There's a lot, but the main ones in like. That, I, that people probably think of as like Charlestown, North End, South Boston, yeah. and then East Dor- Boston. Dorchester too. The Dorchester so what's too. South, what the fuck South Boston then? That's like the... Southie, yeah. It's yeah, like Southie. It's like the Irish. People it's think like, about like Whitey Bulger when they think about that it's and different, shit. Different like nationality. So you guys are from like, like Seaport area? No. <laughs> no. no. Jesus Christ. I wish. I wish. <laughs> that's a new thing. Yeah, that's like what? No, I'm trying to be... That's really... Well, <laughs> 10 years ago. Wow, fucking yeah. Seaport. Seaport was just parking lots 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a fucking fish town. It now like, it's the coolest where, place in the world. It was a warehouse. It was right, just a warehouse really full of fish right. guts. Yeah, but no, we both we both are born and raised in East Boston. So East Boston predominantly like when my parents grew up there so I have like three generations from East Boston so like my great grandparents my grandparents my parents so it was all like Irish Italian but now it's like a melting pot like there's you know there's a, there's still Italians and Irish but there's a lot more Hispanic it's a big Hispanic place now so yeah. like we were talking about off camera like uh, you said your wife's Peruvian yeah. there's a lot of like good Peruvian restaurants Hispanic restaurants Colombian um, yeah this guy, he likes Latinas, so there's a lot of Latinas there for him. Um, he takes them out to the places there. What is your, like, your go-to like like Hispanic restaurant there? What would you say? Yeah, I know you like Oliveras. That's Brazilian, though. Yeah, that's Brazilian. Yeah, I don't really eat the Latino food yeah, like but that. But they have good Italian food there, too, like Reno's. We eat a lot of Italian food, as you can tell. Reno's so. probably the best food, bro. I think it's really the best is. food Reno's? in the city. Reno's, Reno's in East yep. Boston. And obviously Santapio's. You've been to Santapio's? Oh, no, I haven't. Damn. Wow. No. We might have to get you guys. We might have to get you guys. Maybe we'll do our podcast there. East Boston's the airport. Yeah, it's the yeah. airport. That's yeah. perfect. So you guys, yeah. oh, so we, jet fuel is part of your yeah, yeah. stunting our growth so and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you, that's why I'm 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Speaking Bro. of airplanes, how how long was that flight that you came? 
The first one was cross on from Boston to Qatar was like thirteen hours. Qatar. Oh, wow. And then from Qatar to Bali was like thirteen or fourteen hours, something like that. I don't. I don't. I don't even think the experience is that cool for me to travel that far. Like, why would it, you like? Why would you even want to be on a plane that long? How did you? Like, what do you get up and do some jumping jack? You do the Russell Wilson in the <laughs> middle. Asleep. You do a workout. They give you the showers in there. Do you take showers or anything? Take, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. You got no. You down. don't. You got a shower. There's showers no. in there. Yeah. There's showers in there. Did I've never f- been on a big enough plane to yeah, see all that. Yeah. yeah. So you put the bed down. You got a, like you got a, like a bed. Yeah, they come make it and everything. Like you fly first class. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. Why. Yeah. I would. That's fly. my. Would that's on my bucket regular. list. Yeah. That's on my bucket list. Got to fly first class. I don't. I don't want. I don't want anything to do with that. The kids are easy because they, they have a section so that's like four since that face each considering other. Considering so a whole there, plane full crazy. of people disappeared and they couldn't even find a piece <laughs> of how, how fragment. Many a piece how of how many fa- flights a day? I don't give a shit. It happened. There's a flight yeah. that disappeared. Yeah, they Malaysia. still can't find it. Yeah, Malaysia Air. Do you yeah, watch yeah, that yeah. Netflix thing? Yeah. yeah, it freaks me out. You know what's crazy? We were we were flying to, <laughs> we were we were flying to Fort Myers yeah. to actually go chill with Gronk, which we can get into, but I watched that while I was on the flight, that no, documentary, no, like a psycho. I'm like, bro, I don't know why I did that. you can do right now is just watch Dude, that. I, okay, I so, yeah, I airplane stuff. You guys haven't met my, my <laughs> old airplane. man. We call him Captain Insano because he's kind of nuts. So, like, I walk in the family room, he's watching air disasters. I'm like, <laughs> what is the... What, yeah. what, do, what do you get out of this right now watching air disasters well it's interesting like yeah a whole family down bang right, everyone's yeah. gone what so happened? it's right you yeah I'll, I'll tell you forget I went to a magical place I went to Disney World for the fourth time in a year <laughs> I'm losing all my stuff for the ESPN because I'm done with them so <laughs> I might as well take the kids one last time yeah. to get all the freaking discounts like, like, reap the like benefits ago. right reap yeah. the benefits it, bro happy wife happy life okay <laughs> just remember that boys so we we do the thing whatever we're coming back the other day where it was at like a 10 o'clock flight get on the plane everything's good we're on jet jet blue you need to hit me up with some credits or something yeah, me too Jesus pal Christ. me too like jet blue <laughs> you guys are losing it so the rank one of the worst airlines. They lost Listen, it. They lost it. It's gone. We take <laughs> off and like you, you've been on an airplane where the landing gear comes up and it makes like a little burn yeah. and yeah, it makes like kinda, a yeah. clunk. Yeah. Which everyone at the time you're like, Ugh. doesn't matter what it does. Second. You're still yeah. like, I don't like that. This time was the weirdest sound I've ever heard in my life. It was like a really high pitched like squeal, which it doesn't make that noise. It makes like a different noise. So I'm looking around, everyone's just, you know, everybody's in looking, watching yeah. their movies. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I do the like same that. thing, bro. I, I get the same thing. So I'm looking around, looking at my the, wife. The flight my wife's probably getting ready to zip tie So, <laughs> so we're si- I'm sitting, I'm, I'm scrolling. I got the kids, so they're keeping me busy. And I'm I'm scrolling, looking through the thing, and I'm like, dude, I, why do I feel heavy? I felt like the G forces were kind of pulling me mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it went away for a little bit, came back, went away, came back. So it was an hour later. I look at the flight map just to see where we're at, and we've just been circling the airport. Oh my so god! So in same, Orlando, circling same thing the airport just happened to me. So so then the captain comes on. He's like, uh, hey everybody. Um, uh, we're uh, having a little difficulty here with the hydraulic system. Something's not working right. Oh, my God. Um, so we're going to head back. We're going to land back in Orlando. Um, sit tight. We're going to keep moving here for about 30 minutes. We're trying to work through some things. Work, And I'm like, work some, work through some things. Okay, we're working through what? Our crash landing? First thing I'm doing is Googling so, hydraulic so, system. What does that mean? So I'm low enough to where I could text. So I text my buddy, Phil who is a state trooper and he's got a good friend that's a, a pilot for mm-hmm. JetBlue. So he texts him and he's texting me. He's like, yeah, I'm texting him right now. And they can jump into the computer and they can see, you know, what's going on. Mm-hmm. And he said, if it's completely locked out, that means it's bad. Like Jesus. they lock it out so nobody can see what's happening. So he's like, I was able to jump in and see that they have a hydraulic issue in the landing gear, like in the front. Something's ro- something's wrong with yeah. it. It's not working oh right. God. So there's three hydraulic systems on an airplane you know there's your flaps there's your landing gear there's all and the whole thing but you can run other stuff but limited to like total function so they have to like manually do stuff and they also can't land heavy with full of fuel so i just learned this burn it up say you have a heart attack say you're fuck oh my heart and you say i need them i need we need to go down they won't land until they're light yes that's crazy so they'll, they'll go an hour and you know you're fucking dead, and then they'll <laughs> land, right? So 
they're coming down the plane starts to like like make this like weird like buffering noise no, I don't like and that. i felt it and i'm like what and he came on and he was like yeah uh you know that's the landing gear doors are open higher than when we usually would and they're out and, and it was just making that noise the whole time so we're coming around coming around coming we're going down we're landing as we hit the ground fire trucks police holy ambulances shit. all on the runway damn and i'm like so it was like bad like it wasn't good yeah like, they, didn't, they didn't have steering you said i landed without steering <laughs> <laughs> oh my god asking, that's good so I'm sitting there like, dude, like never again. My like, ten year old wow. is like crying. She's like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back yeah, on the plane. You got kids on the plane Scott, too. Like, Scott for life. So I, I just went to Tampa. No, uh, same thing. It was like a nine a.m. flight. I fell right right to sleep. Woke up. It was one o'clock. I'm like, huh, this is this is longer than expected. And we we've been circling, and uh, but I guess it was the the lightning in Tampa. So the dude goes to Fort Myers, but like it was just such a long flight and um this lady behind me got kicked off she was like she got like a cease and assist for vaping on the plane. Oh and <laughs> then this kid starts throwing up and now we, we land I'm like dude it's been like five hours. I'm like it's usually like a three hour flight and that's long for me. I'm usually yeah. I always go to Florida so like three hours is yeah. plenty of time. And uh we land he's like oh we'll be here for about two hours. I'm like dude get me off the I literally got I was the only one to get off the plane. Yeah, anytime I, drove, I, hear I drove any, to Tampa. Any sounds on a plane because you usually hear like like you were saying when the landing gear comes out and stuff. I try my best to just like act like I'm no, but I'm like low key like looking over my shoulder, like is anyone else like kind of freaking out right now? Like let's you know, The wait. crazy thing is is like, okay, a car, yeah, they say technically it's more dangerous to drive. But on an airplane, you ain't got a shot. You got no chance of living. You're, you're there's like done. there's no chance. Oh, yeah. done. I forgot. Like, I forgot to say that flight. My bags didn't make it on for some reason. I checked in two and a half hours <laughs> early. I got an email on the plane. You had no. I had no bags. I was like, you know what? So the plane, the next plane that was leaving Boston was going to Tampa. Meanwhile, I was just in the air for five hours. That plane ended up beating us there. So I ended up. I just drove to Tampa. Got my bags, but it worked perfect. As soon as I got in to the carousel, my bags were just circling. I was like, all right, perfect. So at the fights, I went to the fight on Saturday, and I was talking to Dana White and telling him the whole thing because I had texted him earlier like, hey, I might not make it depending on this flight if I can get back. If not, well, I'll be back, and I'll miss the fights. Mm -hmm. So when I was talking to him, he's like, dude, airlines are sh bad right now. Yeah. Yeah. And he said yeah. he had, he's friends with some engineer or something that works for an airline, and I guess they're – kind of stretching as much as they can to make as much as they can because they're not making enough oh, right damn. so like these airlines are kind of hurting a little bit yeah. I think right after the pandemic everyone wanted to get out travel 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 mm -hmm. you know my parents they flew southwest there was like nobody on the plane yeah you know, like, i forgot about southwest bro. Yeah, i've never too. even flew southwest southwest bro like yeah, it's because you have, it's like a Walmart line. It's like the deli counter. Like you got to pull a number, so you get like your thing is like A nineteen. Mm -hmm. You have to line up when they get it, and then yeah. they, they board an order that way. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I don't think I'll have a fly jet blue again after all these horror stories I'm hearing. Well, then I was blue. looking up hydraulics. I was looking it up just to see. And if you have like a flap hydraulic issue, you're fucked. You're done. You're screwed. Yeah, it's just like, like there's too many. It's too many moving parts going on. Yeah, it's just like not worth it. Like I'd rather just dro remember we almost drove from. Louisville to Boston because yeah. our fucking oh, yeah, we got, all we got screwed over bad. <laughs> yeah, we, we went, went down to Louisville because uh, Devante Apocker on the Patriots, he, we're close with him, so he has a, a summer camp he does down there. So he invited us down. We went down. We did some content, and then um, we, luckily we were we were with him, so we, there was no issue getting a room or anything the extra night. But we literally were like debating on driving because our flights got messed up because of like weather or something. But uh, I'm glad we did. And that would have been a great story to tell, though, if we drove from, it was like a 14, 15 hour drive. I never driven more than like four hours, four and a half hours, maybe. I think I drove to like New York City once. That was probably the furthest. But yeah, so it would have been cool. When you guys are doing your thing, right? Do you stay localized? Are you trying to like branch out? No, nah, but definitely branch out. We do most of the stuff locally because like that's where all of our connections are like yeah. with, you know the restaurants nightlife all yeah. that but as far as leveling up like you have to branch out eventually you know like, yeah but we live in the in the city so all of our stuff is done in the city you know at I least feel like right you guys now. are of a, a, a age where for the majority of your life the patriots and every single team here kicked ass right yeah that's yeah. all we know we're 20 i'm 23 i turned 24 in a couple yeah. months so, so yeah. how do you guys digest with like I mean, yeah. When the so, team with the Patriots, Dan's favorite yeah, you, team. You go yeah. We were born in '99, so like, I mean, right when Brady got here, right? Like, did he come in? The whole life. So like, like think crazy. about that. So like, our whole life the was whole just life. like 
duck boats, you know, from 2000 to whenever it was, 2019, when they won last, it was just always parades. Like, I have vivid memories of just, rem- like, knowing, like, all right, every year we're going to have some parade to go to, whether it's yeah. Celtics, Red Sox, Bruins, Patriots. And, um, yeah, so, like, right now it's definitely kind of like a a weird time, but, like, we always say every year with the Patriots, like, oh, they're going to win this year. Like, they'll figure it out. They'll so find they some way. Are they going to win this year? Are they going to win this year? Are we still, I mean, there's still hope. Yeah. I think they got He's 10 big. He's are. big I on them this year. I think they got 10 wins this year. Yeah. Do you think they got 10? Yeah, at least. At least. You said 11. Like, I, I think more. I, th- I want to say more, but, dude, I just, I don't know. Bill O'Brien's going to be big for us, I feel like. What do you think, what do you think the Achilles heel? We're going to jump into the Patriots. Why mm. not right now? Okay, let's talk Pats. What do you think the biggest issue for the Patriots is for this season? I think it comes down to quarterback and then second probably offensive line. See, I think offensive, offensive I think line, yeah. I think the offensive line will take them as far as they're going to go. Yeah. And then and then the second aspect of that who like I don't know who the big time offensive weapons going to be. Like they who easily see it. Who? You got you have the tight ends that will be heavily involved. You have the running backs that will be heavily the involved. The tight ends are going to be what? Like Gusecki will probably Mawson have, people. Or Gusecki, Gusecki is not. Oh, stop he, it. He's athletic. He can't even do the freaking gritty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Come on. So, that's how you measure. Oh, he's got what, swag. What gritty yeah, did you do? Scares, what gritty did you do? I don't need play? to. I just yeah. was kicking ass. That's it scares it. me with the tight ends because we were just saying that like John O. Smith and, and Hunter Henry. Like, damn, we got, got two good Hunter tight ends. Hunter Henry can do your taxes. Right. He's getting old. Like, yeah. He's getting old. <laughs> Looks like a you know that account. Like a tax. He account, said he feels accountant. healthy though. I mean, well, I don't know. It's gonna be. I'm pumped for the running backs at least. The tight ends to me, like unless you have a guy that's a difference maker, like George we just Kittle. had on Kittle, Kittle right. freaking Gronk, like a guy like that, Kelsey. Yeah, but that's because that's, you can put I I can put my that, best those linebacker. Are, those are guys. That I can put my exist. best yeah. linebacker <laughs> on Hunter Henry or Gesicki or any of those guys. I don't know about Gesicki, no. And cover him. Mm-mm. Yes, you can. Gasecki's definitely you can't he's play. Play. a big slot. Like that's you, what he is. Yeah. More and I could put a big safety on him. No. You're not telling not me Gusecki. a safety can't cover him? Not Gasecki, no. I mean, like Derwin James can cover him. You know what I mean? So I, I'm I saying Derwin, I your, a tight end to me has to be able to have to get more attention from your secondary versus linebackers. Like you go into the game plan. Okay, we're playing Kittle. Like but, we got to make sure we get hands on them at the line of scrimmage. You're comparing to generational talents, though, that just don't. Well, exist. I'm just saying, our, our, we don't have a tight end that is scary. What's the rece- so does, What's so the weapon? I said teams. what the weapons were. You said the tight ends. <laughs> what's the scary? We- who's the scariest guy yeah. on our offense? Thornton, Pop Douglas. Hmm. He made a good point. Actually, he's like, imagine we had this team like four or five years ago with like Zeke, even Devonte, Juju. Yeah. Like, imagine that. Yeah. But I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, there's always hope. I, I, again, I'm not. He's more of a football guy than I am. I still watch him. I'm just more of like a casual watcher. So I don't know, like, training camp stuff that's going on and all that. But um, I mean, our defense is is good, right? Like, we have a good defense still. Yeah, of course. But that's only going to take you so far. What do you don't like? You don't like to find out about two weeks. You don't like like it. Time is it. You know know what it was last year, too, though? Like, the defense was was very good. It's just there's only so much you can do when the offense isn't putting up points. You know what I mean? Or taking care of the football. So, Mm -hmm. what I'm looking at with this team this year specifically is what's the attitude of the quarterback? You know, is he, good is so he doing this? He, right, like, he, he like, he's not, not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, right. is he like, you wouldn't right. do that if Matt Patricia was your offensive coordinator? What? No. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't he be does frustrated? It, he does it now. He did it in training camp. They do the training that camp thing. Be. You miss a play. Go, yeah. look at Billy O and do this. Uh, you know, That's a problem. Stop. That's body yeah, language. There's no, there's no lead I right I there. I just didn't like that. Yeah, it, I know, did I you know what I'm talking about right now? I know. Oh, trust me. We know. How about the time when Bill O'Brien snapped on Brady when he was... I was I was. I just seen that. I just seen that thing when he was like complaining and he was like, shut up. No, he said, you got to come in. So he threw the interception in the red zone. Yeah. It was in the back of the... I think it was... Kem- Thompson? Who was the guy? Kembrell that- Thompson. Kembrell? Kembrell Thompson. Kembrell. I think it was him. It could have been somebody else. But he threw the ball in there, and he's like, you got to come back to it. Mm-hmm. And Billy O heard him say it and was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. He you was know, like, that plays that. in the past. And, and then they got up, and they just started going after each other. Yeah. I don't see Mac. I mean. I remember that. I, I honestly think Mac, number one, has to be not – a freaking baby. He's got to step it up a little you bit were, in the leadership. You were the biggest Mac Jones guy for so long. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Until he got hurt. DJ. Was. <laughs> <laughs> you started seeing the video. Okay, so I don't hate. I mean, I don't dislike the guy and like right, I hate this right. guy. You just don't like I him just, because he's mad at you. I don't give a shit if like he's you. mad at me. He's not helping me pay my bills. Yeah. He's mad at you. Why is he mad at you? 
Because I hate on him. Because when he hurt his ankle, he must he must hate us. He must hate us. When he hurt his ankle and he literally was crying, I saw the meme on the Instagram to his girl to his girlfriend too. You said something to his girlfriend. Well, I said, (laughs) "Damn, you brought you brought his girl into it." No, I I was doing this thing for the YMCA. I was like speaking, and I didn't know that she was in the crowd. Mm. But I was. We had like balls that we were handing out to people in the crowd. And I was like, oh, I'm in Mac Jones. And I'm like, check down, check down. And I threw a bad pass. I'm like, oh, I inter- threw an interception. Oh, dude, they, they probably, like they, they they must have a poster us. of me and him in their house with our faces <laughs> yeah. circled on Because, it. like, you know what it is, though? It's like, I, like you said, it's like, I don't, I don't I don't know the guy. He's probably a great dude. He looks like a great dude. He, his, his, he loves Taylor Swift. Loves right. And it's so just it's like. Subject, though. Yeah. So it's Bill. Oh, come on. You didn't hear him talk about it? Bill? I see. Yeah, Bill was hyping it up. Buddy. Yeah, he was hyping it up a lot. He was hyping it up just to, like, just I'm, to yeah. Like, you, they asked Mac Jones, he's like, oh, yeah, I love Bad Reputation. I love <laughs> Yeah, Bill, like, Bill's just saying it because he doesn't want to answer any, yes. any media questions. Like, he literally, did you see the photos? Buddy, with him, what he was wearing with his girl? I, well, we, we sent stuff. it. I was like, I zoomed, I zoomed in on him. I said, this is our quarterback. <laughs> Dude, I'm zappy. I, and all it's the way. like, I, I get zappy I, in there. I don't know, man. There's just little things I'm like, you know. See, like I like, said, at nice the end guy. Of the day, at the end of the day, I like to I evaluate people in a couple ways. But like, if were you be able to crack a beer, sit down and have a badass time, fun and laughing with Mac Jones? I don't know. Yeah, you just yeah, you can't. You, no, I think you actually could. You know who you can though is is Bailey Zappi, who we did sit down with and yeah. get a, a dinner with and had a bear with, which was a great. Actually, I don't think he drank, but no, he's a great dude. Uh, we we sat down with him and, and Devonte, like probably what like beginning of summer. Yeah, yeah, but he's a great guy. We always like hyped up Zappy and like the videos and stuff last yeah. year because like he had a couple, obviously those starts and stuff. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, like I said, people like probably watch the videos and like think, oh, they hate Mac Jones. I'm like I don't hate him. I just don't. I go from I went from oh. Brady to Mac Jones. I mean, like, I, come on, Brady about Cam? to Cam Newton to Mac Jones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like. But you're also I a content know. creator, um, though, too. It's so comedy. Gotta, it's comedy. Yeah, it it's all comedy. comedy. Yeah. It's like people got to understand you can't take that. It serious. It's no, kind of hard. To, do you find it hard to like be. He, he would be pissed if you ripped him. I'm sure. What are I'm you sure. About? You fight with people in the fucking comments all the time. Well, because they're morons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of them yeah, are complete it's, morons. It is what it is. No, but it's, the problem is, is if you become insulting you, no, in a way. Take, you take it so, like, serious. Like,. I don't like when people are insulting. Yeah, I mean, you, insult, you wouldn't insult course. me in my face. You of wouldn't course. say that to my face. Right. Like you want to say, like that's why though. In any podcast, though, I always say I'm like I. This is all just comedy. Like I'm sure yeah. Steve, Mac, all these guys are great guys. We just bust balls. That's all it is. I mean, is know? it really is it at the end of the day like busting balls? It's like with your boys, you're having fun, you're busting balls. You can take it. Mm-hmm. Some people, if you can't take that, like if you can't take somebody saying, "Well, you." fucking suck or like what yeah. was that like come on how you, if you're as a professional athlete you have to be able to take it to a certain point, point though yeah. like if you're gonna For start sure. calling me like you know this guy's a complete idiot he mm-hmm. doesn't know what, you know he's a moron you know f his family then yeah, i'm like that, all right well, you're gonna you're gonna say something right. you're gonna do that you say you would never say that to me right like, you would never say that like people are never gonna say that to your face trust me you got these know. tough guys that think they're tough into that probably some little dweeb on a computer yeah so, you know we That's deal with it, it all the time. Yeah, Trust you guys, me, you guys must have it all the time. Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely see like on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, you see like the negative stuff, but like end of the day, we both been doing this for almost three years now, so it's like I mean, you kind of just I don't even really read comments like that anymore. Yeah. Um, but if I do see one, like we'll just buzz balls back to them. Like you, some dude like called either me or, or both of us like fat or something on a yeah, video, and he was like, and it was just like some out of shape dude. He's yeah, like, oh, like, you're yeah. all jacked up. I was like, you're all jacked up, buddy. He goes, I'm actually not. I was like, well, that's the whole joke. But it's like it's just people are just idiots. It's like, but know what I do find is like when you do answer them, if it's a DM or something, they'll they'll retract everything they said and be like, oh, I didn't know you were gonna answer. I was just getting yeah, like yeah, all yeah, this yeah. stuff. So that's that's kind of the fun part of it is making them feel stupid. But all right, so week one though, who's one of Philly? Philly. What are we doing? Philly. They Philly. should they should blow. <laughs> you them said out, Philly huh? right away. They should blow them Philly. out. I mean, they should blow on. them you out. Think they're gonna be Philly? Yeah. Tom Brady game? Yes. What is he playing? They're gonna be all, so amped up from. The, How from sick Brady. would that be though if he came out and just did one drive here? Just one more drive. <laughs> yeah, it was the. Yeah, I'd cry. I mean, they should just retire. You think they'll retire his jersey? They have to. No, that wouldn't it be like a banner it. drop well, moment. I was gonna say, yeah, isn't that the be. whole point of it, or what are they doing? Is it just like a? They haven't announced what they're doing. It's just like I mean, a tribute. You have game? to assume that they're it's retiring his jersey. I know every, there's, there's like a lot two of or three will guys with retired numbers now, right? Yeah. Well, who's got who's who, what other? Do you even know the retired jerseys? Isn't Hannah? Yeah. Um, Is uh, Armstrong fifty six? Yeah, and Tippett. Tippett's retired, right? Yeah. Like and nobody Armstrong, wears fifty six. 
Yeah. The offensive line. I think yeah. those are the three. Yeah, that's it. But I mean, nobody's nobody's wore twelve though since he left. Um, nobody should ever There's wear. No yeah, one. no one. But that's what I mean. They're gonna they're gonna retire it. It's I weird seeing a little tight end in '87. They should yeah. retire twelve all across the league. That's yeah. what I think. All right, that's a little much. Nice. I'm a Brady fan. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's every every little is gonna Bostonian say that. here. We're getting a little crazy. <laughs> you're definitely you're the way Tampa is. Tampa might go retire his number right now. Oh, they will. 100. They, so? they should. They should. Like three seasons. They, had, they took like twenty thousand yeah. seats out of the stadium, so it doesn't yeah. look so empty. <laughs> well, because you got Baker Mayfield. Or Baker. Though. Baker. Imagine that. It's Dude, gonna be rough. Shitty like Baker Mayfield, and you gotta you gotta come in after Brady. Right. To be the guy after that guy would always suck. Yeah, like I, I mean, Cam coming in here was terrible. For that me. don't even count. That, <laughs> it was just COVID. It was bad. That was bad. And one of the video videos, I was like, I was like, Mac, fucking Cam played better than you. Yeah, Cam played better than you. <laughs> I just, I think, I mean, you look at this Cunningham kid. You know, we, he comes in. He looks, he's, a, he's a couple years away though. I know, but ready. still, like, are they gonna keep three? Yeah, They're, they'll keep three, right? Yeah, keep three. So keep three and keep six wide receivers. I. I this is the th- you see Bill's face after that little cut touchdown. Yeah, he was I saw sitting the, I saw there the like, name. wait a second. I mean, I like he like got you. something. Yeah. He was like, well, I like he's this gonna guy. Do you some. don't think that he had it? He uh, Malik Cunningham signed like three minutes after the draft ended. Yeah, he knew, and he has the he had the highest ever undrafted free agent contract in the history of football. Hmm, I didn't know that. So there yeah. was something there. So yeah. like, you don't think he knew it going in? Malik Cunningham actually, I think, broke all of Lamar Jackson's did. records. Did that little little yeah. yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. How did he go undrafted then? That's nobody knows. I don't know. We got it's very him, strange. Yeah, we met him down for the camp because he was down there at Devontae. And he's supposed like a really smart yeah. kid. Like he's a big time leader already. Is he a small guy though? No, he's. He looks kind of. He looks smaller than. He Lamar. um. Yeah, no, he's, he's maybe he's be. He, six, they're he's, both six feet. He might he's be six feet. Bounce. Yeah. yeah, he's got a gun. But Sometimes, Lamar, dude, right? some of the plays are questionable. Lamar's like, only about six feet. I'm like, how do you play? How do you play professional football? I've seen like. A couple times in my career, number one was RG3. When I first saw that guy on a football field, I was like, there ain't no way this guy's going to play. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, there like, ain't no way he's going to make it. Like, his ankles were the, Kyler the, Murray. Thinny, so like, the, the skinniest, thin, like, just, I was like, yeah. dude, this Kyler dude's going to like get five killed. Eight. Yeah, I don't know how, man. I don't know. Well, Especially quarterback, too. ACL. That's exactly it. Like, so Malik Cunningham's contract as an undrafted free agent was three years, two point seven five million. Would they give him guaranteed though? Uh, That's the key. Yeah, the guarantee is sneaky. It's a, oh, I'm coming up with total because they're adding it together. One point three million. They gave him one. Th- no. Yeah, nine hundred. Nine hundred. No, one three is more than like a drafted player. Two hundred grand. Two hundred grand. Two hundred thirty grand signing bonus. Superstar market. Yeah, our that's buddy, like our buddy his, manages uh, him, or like not manages him, but yeah. like he's within his agency. Yeah, that what was is your first lot. contract? <laughs> Wasn't three years, like two point seven. Three years, uh, million five, bucks, five hundred. Yeah, no, and then like one thirty-five to sign. Yeah, I thought I was rich. You a fifth that's round pick, right? Feel. That's how I would feel. <laughs> <laughs> if I got if I got twenty thirty uh, thousand right now, I'd feel rich. You went and traded in your dad's truck. I, I traded in the car. On. Yeah, I traded right in the car. That I didn't, didn't know it's the best. I traded his car, no title. Like I didn't have anything. I just <laughs> sold it. Crazy. I called him up. He's like, "How'd you sell it?" I said, "I don't know. I took it." Where Where are you from originally? Chicago. Chicago so how was like that transition to, to like New England, Boston for you? Was it so, similar? No, I, I think it's similar, but it's. A lot smaller. Like mm. Boston is a smaller city, yeah. but kind of different in a sense of everything's a little bit more like New England. You know, yep. like this is a part of New England here, yeah, which yeah. is kind of confusing if you're not from here. You're like, what the fuck's the case? You know, New like, Eng- yeah. what's yeah. Gloucester? What's right. uh, New Hampshire is considered? It's like a big region. It's like five states. Yeah, it's New like England. a big region. Yeah. You're, you just when I initially got here, I'm like, is I thought New England was well, like, like this whole thing was Boston. Boston, yeah, you know? yeah. But it's not. It's everything. So, yeah. you know, the, the vibe is similar with like sports. Considering when I was a kid, you know, I grew up with like Jordan, mm-hmm. the the Bulls, the Bears were shitty, so I didn't really follow them when I was a kid. But like. That was everyone's just so crazy fan centric on sports. It, the the actual being an athlete in Chicago is similar to, to Boston, yeah. In a sense of like the pressure, yeah. Because okay. if you suck, well, they you hate just, you. If you don't win, you just suck. If you don't win, yeah, then you suck. They mm-hmm. really, really are on. Well, you. think about Mac Jones. Like if he's walking to the North End, like you def get some dudes saying like Mac. You know what I mean? Got to smarten up this little, season. Little chirps here and there. Yeah, yeah, I could see that for sure. So. The, the one thing similar to Chicago, Boston, 
if you did win, say if you did win championships, like yeah. I'm, I, w- I was good, but I wasn't like like great. You know, like I, I was good, but not like fucking Hall of Fame or Pro Bowl. Like I was right there. Mm. So like here, it's like they just they go, you know, yeah, for oh, sure, fit yeah. right in, buddy. You know, it's like Chicago's same way because if you played for the Bears in '85. They haven't won a Super Bowl since, since, or even got to a Super Bowl since. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, everybody there. You know, you look at all those guys, Walter Payton, you know, um, the quarterback, what I'm having a brain fart right now, Jim McMahon. Like, they're Jay just, Cutler. Oh, they hate Jay, Jay Cutler. Cutler. Bro, of course, Dude, Jay of course. Cutler, they hate <laughs> Jay Cutler. They absolutely hate <laughs> Jay Cutler. So, crazy, actually crazy story. The first game that I went to after I played ball was the double doink game against Philly. Right, mm. so like my boys called me up. They're like, "Hey, come on out to Chicago. Let's go to the. We got a you know badass tickets. Let's go to this game. It's gonna be a great atmosphere." So I fly into Chicago on like a Saturday, tailgate. You know, I'm pretty ripped up by the time the game starts because a later game. Yep. And there was a bunch of Philly fans around Chicago fans. So like the, the shit talking was insane. It was yeah, like, and the Philly imagine. fans. They're like borderline, like They're lunatic. You might, yeah, I don't you know, hate. I can't like, stand. You might want to fight, like batteries at Santa Claus. It, it's just punks, just punks, punks straight yeah. punks. Yeah. So, as the game was going, the flow of the game was more so Chicago, and then Philly kind of came back, and then Chicago had they were in the driver's seat for that field goal, and like the dudes. <laughs> Wait, that was a playoff game. Yeah. yeah. That was they would have went to the Super Bowl. Yep. Yeah, that would have been a Super Bowl appearance. If they would have won that game. That's insane. Dude, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm not I'm like it's football. Like it was my job. So I'm not about to cry over this shit if I wasn't yeah, playing yeah, football. Yeah. Like these grown ass men were like crying. The and I'm looking around. All these death threats. Yeah, I know. Like he, so he had the, FBI the Philly fans, and then after that, the Philly fans were all over him. Yeah. Like, what year was this? This was this was not too recent. too long ago, like, like less than five years ago. It was seventeen. Seventeen, I think. Yeah, that was when, was when we Parker, played. Though. Yeah, who, who was quarterback for Chicago? I didn't even realize they made it that like that, somewhat that deep. Was um, brain fog. I couldn't think. I can't think. Chicago's quarterback was, was Wentz. Oh no, no, no. Philly's quarterback was Wentz. Uh, Chicago. No, was, Wentz tore his ACL. It was Foles, right, Nick Foles. Yeah, because yeah, Wentz yeah, tore his ACL. Yeah. And, and then he fucking then beat Chicago us. Chicago was. That's why I'm like, uh, the kid, the guy they drafted, um, no, was with the Mitch buff, Trubisky. Trubisky. Yeah. Oh, Trub- yeah. Trubisky. Wow, imagine that. Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. What else did they have, though? I'm like, I can't even they believe had Alshon defense. Jeffrey. That's they had Mac. Alshon you know? Jeffrey, yeah. yeah. Did he retire? Had, yeah. No, he was on the Eagles. Yeah, he was on the Eagles. Oh, he, was on the Eagles. Oh, he wasn't yeah. even there yet. Jordan Howard, it is like Brian. Jordan Brian Howard, Mac. yeah. They just had a good defense, you yeah. know. They had Mac. Mac, uh, yeah. yeah. I think the Philly Super Bowl hurts the most. Raquan Smith. They had, that yeah, their defense. The most for sure. That was a tough one. Yeah, yeah, it was really tough. Philly. Uh, Philly was, dude, that hurts me worse than the Giants, bro. I'm sorry. Like, the Philly, no, like, the wish. Giants. I was also too young but for like, the Giants, though, too. Yeah, I wasn't that's, like, that's I mean, true. you might have been following it more, but I, I was like. Dude, but just Philly hurt. Like, I just can't stand Philly fans and just like. Yeah, Foles, that was probably Brady, more, they yeah. all played so good, and I was just like, damn. Do really, you guys follow baseball or anything? Used to like, yeah, dude, it's not, not, it's not same, as bro. much. We know Tees is gone. I don't watch like baseball. Nobody baseball watches stuff. baseball here. I, watch baseball. I, watched I know sa- you do. We've I watched the Savannah that. Bananas. You watched the <laughs> Savannah Bananas. Last time you went to Fenway. No, I haven't went in years. Not this year. No, I went last Three year. I haven't been ago. this year yet. I can't fit. I love with baseball. <laughs> right. I love baseball. The pitch, but the pitch clock. The seats are too tight for me now. But the pitch clock is so good. I like that one. The action. You seen the Savannah Bananas? No. Yeah, Savannah Banana is good. We, we we just went with it's that. A, we uh, we went went out. It's a bonafide Goody. baseball league. Like they do, like they like dance during. It's like the, the Globe Trotters. Do their own baseball. Globe Trotters. Yeah. 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 But it's way like, better than the Globe Trotters. It's yeah. pretty sick. What are they bro. doing with like? What are they doing for fun? Like do they do like, like, you have No, they bats? actually they actually they do metal bats. If you hit a foul ball, that actually is a good idea. You're out. And a fan catches it. Yeah. It's like stuff like that. So everyone's got a mitt. It's it's fast. So they do the game takes like an hour and twenty minutes. They do innings like match play in golf. Yeah. So like if you win, win an inning, the inning then you, you get, get one, one point. point. And then the last inning is uncapped. For you know what it saved baseball? Right now? It's already saved? No, God. Is it's baseball saved. dead? Is baseball no, dead? Yeah, what do you think? Not. It's dying. No. It is dying. No, it's not. I think the ratings are up this year. Nobody wants to watch a freaking baseball no. game. Right they shorten the games, right? Are they like two, the two hours? You know what the now? best time of baseball was? McGuire hitting the freaking yeah, awesome. bleachers at 550. Yeah. And Sammy Sosa juiced out of his Jesus mind. All juiced up. Yeah, hitting seventy-two home runs. Johnny Damon, you know Johnny Damon. I was just with him. We Saturday. were just we were with him. We, we just did a we, uh, we went him at the Bananas, Bananas game. He was at the Savannah Bananas game. He did like an appearance for them, so we met him there. He's a quick. Did cool he? Dude. Did he say he 
went up to the plate. He played. Yeah, he, he played. played. Yeah, yeah. He, that's what I'm saying. They do like special appearances in so different he cities. Said, okay, so, so he was telling me about this. Pitch. He like got up to the plate. The guy was throwing like high 80s, like maybe he 90. got a hit, I think. Yeah, and he's like, I couldn't even see the ball. Well, because the thing is, like, he's like, I haven't seen a pitch in so long. I didn't know like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not it's not scripted. It's like ex college players, so they actually play the yeah, game yeah, just good. by these yeah. weird rules. So it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty entertaining. But um, yeah, no, it's cool MLB stuff. TV ratings are up 26 percent this year. I didn't watch a game. Yeah, you've been to yeah. games. I went to one game. They went to multiple games this year. No, I went to one game. I think no, I can't. I can't remember. Games. Are the Sox in a playoff race right now? Yeah. They're, they're up there. Oh, five, this is the worst feeling of, uh, in the world. <laughs> like, that is the worst feeling. <laughs> straight on your windshield, yeah. man. You we, can't we, park anywhere. I always find the spot on the corner, and you think you got enough room. Fire hydrant. And then you see one of these. We put those on like on, on cars to promote it. Oh, that's that's yeah. funny. That's a good idea. That's yeah, a good yeah. hat. Yeah. But I feel like we dropped the two. We should have dropped that like during Halloween. Yeah, it would have been a little better. But people like them, yeah. Yeah. Those are all of our first drops, so we're still like... Uh, people, evolve in the merch people will stuff. kill for the, the Boston hat those Boston ones go crazy like people are like this one, that's a yeah going hat. crazy for those anybody um, come after you for copyright stuff yet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we're trying to talk about it as <laughs> least as we can so yeah. <laughs> just, just skip those that down. question just, well, it's, not, it's not the actual logo though it's just it's the, the, it's the just B the it's the it's B the it's the real one the real one the, the that's, S is yeah. just there and then the B we'll eventually have to tweak it but I mean until but the N is good I think though the N's sick yeah they can do the N yeah yeah, that looks good. Then, because you can't, it doesn't, dude, that's It'd be badass. really good if they bring back those 90s. Dude, you know what's too. crazy, yeah. though? When yeah, we go out, we'll go to Encore or something, we always run into someone wearing it. It's, it's pretty yeah. sick. We're like, damn. Or someone will see the hat, and then they'll see the hat, then they'll notice us from the hat, because we wear it in, like, the deli skits yeah. and all that. Um, so, it's, it's yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cool stuff. I'm trying to build, like, a community with it. Uh, what made you guys start? It's honestly this. by accident. With the, oh, with, the hats? With social media, no, no, the no, hats. The, you're yeah, you can get, you oh, can social media? Yeah, no, um... So we both grew up in East Boston together, and um, you know we've known each other since we were like four years old, five years old. Yeah, I got a picture of just us, just yeah, like we met five at, like, year olds, just camp, like just the two fat just kids, just hundred pounds, camp. and just like four feet. <laughs> yeah, so we met there. We grew up together, went to high school together, graduated together, and then he went to the military. I went to college, and then I was just like switching my major around. I didn't know what to do. I was really just there to keep my parents happy. Um, so I was pretty like set on just like going to make them happy, and then going to join a union or something, which doesn't really make sense at all. Um, and then I just started messing around on TikTok during like 2020 when COVID was like heavy because I had nothing else to do. And um, I just made a video one day for fun and it was talking about like people who claim to be from the city of Boston who aren't actually from the city, like someone from like Peabody or something. That's no, from, It's like a real thing. Like people actually like yeah. don't like when people do that. So I just did one joking around and I, I go to bed, I wake up and it has like 100,000 views. So I'm like, oh shit. Like I have no social media presence at this point, but... I just kept doing it for fun and the following kept growing and then the following year I dropped out of school to do it full time because I started making like money off brand deals and stuff and then I uh, put a little team together and then just started developing like long term goals like we're building out a media company right now the merch um, I'm starting my own coffee company he's starting his own food product company so we got a bunch of moving parts and like really just building the network was the number one thing I think um, like even just like Gordy like Gordy Gronk like he's how we got to meet Rob and we went down to Fort Myers, he cooked for their whole family, and we got to chill with like the Gronks. Where did all day. you start cooking? Yeah, so his story's like my similar, story's but crazy. a little different. Tell your story. So I got like my grandmother raised me. I grew up with like two addict parents. Like my dad was in jail. My mom, as soon as I was born, she was in a halfway house. So my grandmother took me in. So I lived with her until I was like 17. She passed away, and then my dad was like living with us slowly. And he was like, "I'm going to live with my girlfriend." I was like, "I'm not like living with you and your girlfriend." So I called up my aunt, my grandmother's sister, and um, I lived there for a year. Just working two jobs at the garden and uh, at a, at a hotel, and um, she gave me like a year to live there to like figure out life. Meanwhile, I'm like 19. I'm like working two jobs, ba ba like, I can't pay rent, especially in Boston at the time. She's like, "You're out of here in a year." No in a year, what. so I'm like, "All right, you know what?" Like, I was at, like played sports my whole life. I was like, "All right, you know what? I'm gonna be a cop. I'll stay in shape." I like applied. I was too young to be a cop, but I applied for like an internship. Took like seven months, didn't get in. I'm like, "Fuck, what am I gonna do?" And I'm just like, "You know, I'm gonna just go to the military." So I went. And it's kind of crazy how it works. When I got there, it's like, oh, all we have is reserves. So you go do your training and then come home. I'm like, all right, I, I need to get out of here. I need somewhere to live. So I, I went. Um, so the year came up. She actually, like, didn't let me stay. I was It came December 2019. I left. I was supposed to leave in May 2020. And she was like, you still have to leave. I'm like, this is my, this is my family. You know what I mean? Tell me I got to go. I'm like, this sucks. So I just, luckily, I had another aunt and uncle in Tampa that had a restaurant. They, they took me in for a couple of months, trained. 
then COVID happened, but I still went. So during COVID, I was in like this bubble, just like, I don't know nothing. I don't have my phone. I don't know nothing going on. And um, finally, like graduate basic and I come back. So reserves, you come back, you work one weekend a month. So I still like, I came back to nothing. I had no place to live. I had a couple thousand saved. And luckily my brother, like I lived on his couch in his basement apartment for uh, like six, seven months. Saved up. I got in the post office, got my own place. And um, just cooking like to live, like survive. So I just started cooking little things and I met um, one of my friends, she was my, she's my ex-girlfriend, but I met her out to dinner. And I was like, oh, we'd love to cook for you. And I'm um, just chopping it up. And she's like, yeah, yeah, And then actually cook for her. And she's like, you, you should really be filming this. Meanwhile, I'm hopping in videos with him. When I started with him, I was living on my brother's couch just making stupid skits. So met her. She's like, damn, like, you, you're funny. You know what I mean? Like, she made a sick video. I'm like, damn, I'm fucking handsome, you know? Like, shit, <laughs> shit. Like, damn. This is, this is nice. There's something there. This, this is something nice. there. There's something there, yeah. So it was just like a... Just cooking, like no talking, just like music. And then she started showing me how to edit and all this stuff. And I started doing it on my own. I started talking to the camera. And uh, dude, it starts blowing up like two months, got like 30K. I'm like, damn, like this is this is sick. Meanwhile, I'm getting hundreds of thousands of views through him too. And uh, just really started taking it to the next level. Just really started going, going. And just started meeting new people. I actually reached out to Damian Harris when I got like 30,000 followers. I was like, yo, I'd love to come cook for you. He's like, oh, sure, let's do it. So I went, and I was just, like, made chicken palm ravioli. He's like, yo, this is the best dinner I've ever had. And I'm like, this is lit, because I grew up Pats fan, bro. Like, I've always yeah. grew up just into sports. Like, I just love, just born into it. So, and I was an athlete my whole life, and uh, just full circle, bro. I found my way in. Now was I'm that, like, like, being with your grandmother? Like, would she cook? Yeah, so we grew up, like, she quit um, being a bartender to take me in. So she was just getting, like, Social Security. She was, like, 60-something. She was getting that every month. So it was, like... A thousand bucks a month maybe so i grew up eating just like fucking blt sandwiches english muffin pizzas like hot dog and egg just like poor food like yeah but that's where it all started like i started making like sausage egg and cheeses with her like young so that's crazy but that's yeah. all my videos are now like i don't i'm not a fucking chef bro like i make i know how to make some things but i make simple things and it's like i'm not like saying i'm a chef i'm like listen you follow the video if you want to make it like this is what i'm doing it's more of an entertainment yeah that's cool you like shrimp scampi Love shrimp Makes scampi. the best shrimp scampi. Yeah. You gotta have them cook for you sometime. Good yeah. shrimp yeah. scampi. One of the sauce, the vodka sauce is good too. That's I make easy. good vodka sauce. My it's buddy Jamie Marshall works for a shrimp company. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll, hey. we'll, we'll load you guys up with shrimp yeah, if you want. Shrimp. It. Yeah, I fucking definitely. hate shrimp. <laughs> you don't like shrimp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not big seafood. No, yeah. I'm half Irish. So, so last night, I, I went out at 2 30 in the morning. I was on the boat. We went tuna fishing. So I had to get up at 1 a.m. Right, I'm driving out to Gloucester. I had to go up to Gloucester. My buddy I've seen Jamie, your stories. Yeah, he's up in Gloucester. So, uh, get on the boat, dude. These old guys, you know, they got coolers full of drinks and they got bags of food. These dudes didn't make it a half hour out on the water because we had like three to five foot Fuck. throwing up. These dudes were all yakking over the side, and these guys were oh like, yes. "The funny part is this one guy, BK. Right, he's probably mm -hmm. in his late sixties." This dude's throwing up and he's shitting his pants, dude. Oh my <laughs> god! Dude. I would what? throw up right away. Bro, I'm, 60 filming years this, old too? I'm filming this, laughing my ass off. I'm like, you guys got like a long way to go, man. Holy like shit. there ain't no way. So That's, we got back at like it was dude. choppy out though, huh? Dude, it was them five to be foot. Up. Like we were out there. It was like because the wind was howling. Damn. Yeah. We were just not, in like I a forty, dude. Yeah. They were dying. It was. I personally, it took. I don't get sick from that, but. I was feeling like the boat. Like I was Uzi, even laying in bed uh, last night and I was like feeling, feeling the boat, it? like like moving like this. I don't. I can't I'm not do a that. big fan of going out there because we went like 12 miles out. So just, that's far on a it's boat. It's pretty far. I mean, it's yeah. like an hour and a half on a boat. You're just going out. You see like whales out there and shit. We didn't see any whales. <laughs> we, we caught two tuna. One was like 400. One was like 750ish. But you can't huge, you bro. can't um, catch them right now. Oh, you got to release yeah. it. Oh, you really? got to tag it because the guy, that, this guy Dave, that's doing it. He's on uh, with Wicked Tuna. He's on a Ranger, show. Wicked yeah. Tuna. He's got a boat. I've seen that. Yeah. So he, um, he's got these tags. They tag them so they can kind of like, I guess if somebody catches it, like they have to contact you because you've pre previously caught it, but it was in non season. Damn. Which is kind of wild. Isn't that crazy? Wait, that's a thing. They do that. That's they crazy. do that. They tag them. You can't catch certain like things. Yeah, at right now you know, yeah. seasons. Yeah. There's like oh, see, so like right now it's a week out. Like they do a week of no, you can't kill it. And then, but unless if it was like 300 to f I think 350 pounds or something, that's considered small. Fuck, you could take it. But wow. it was the that's R2 crazy. was over, which is 
I'm not a big hunter. I don't, you know. Yeah, no, I never went hunting or I went fishing when I was like really young, but I feel like that'd be like hilarious content going fishing together. Fishing, <laughs> that'd be right? hilarious. Yeah, you guys, you yeah, want to do it? Oh, we'll yeah, I don't know about the nice deep sea. I don't yes, know about I'd the deep to. sea. I want a deep sea fish. Like, that's yeah. what I want to do. I feel like you can catch some cool stuff out there. The only thing that scares me about that is like if anything happens, you're done. Oh, yeah, you're That's screwed. why yeah, it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to float away. Well, at least there's no everything. There's no shocks. No, but there is shocks. In the cape, though. In the cape, right? In the cape. You do. Well, I mean, you know. Like, Dude, I'm, you're telling me you go 12 boat. miles out. You're No, well, the captain's like, if you fall off the boat, he goes, if you fall off the boat, this is what he says, you fall off the boat, I can't find you, you're done. So he said it was two. It's, it's, it's three in the morning. It's, it's black. real though. Really, it's pitch though. black. He's really? like, if you fall off the boat, whatever you do, try get off. Stay on the boat. If you fall off the boat, I'm not gonna find you. Huh. That's what he said. It's good, Captain. Straight up. <laughs> um, yeah. So where, where were you? Where did you say you were? Like Gloucester, you said. Gloucester, yeah. So is that? I don't. I'm, this is a stupid Gloucester. question. Is that near the Cape? Is that like no, towards no, the Cape? No, that's north. north oh, north. it's north, right? Yeah. So like you, you know, you got. Oh, this. yeah, it's like, like Swamp Scott. Like, yeah, 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 right there, yeah. So you go north. It's actually like 128. Like if you're right here, you get on. Yeah, it's 128. Yes, yeah, there's no shocks or anything out there, right? Can't know, like, yeah, yeah, great whites everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere there's seals, you got like great whites. Dude, great whites. whites. He's like, there's more great whites right now Actually, yeah, than yeah. ever before. New England has like the highest great I've white seen that. shark population. I thought like they couldn't come in this, like it was like, it was too cold for sharks. No. Um, it's that's just changing. like a myth? Is that just like a myth? No, it's a myth on the water. It is, it. right? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're finding cold water. I'll never swim in the ocean. I'll swim in lakes. I don't know about the ocean, though. I don't... No, you don't want to go in that deep blue. Even even lakes like kind of freak me. I just don't like not knowing what's under me. I don't like that feeling. I'm like, I don't know. I watched too many Jaws movies growing up, I think. That's why. So I was out in Hawaii with my buddy, Jake Ingram. He used to be a long snapper here. And he was born and raised in Hawaii. So I went back for like vacation. That's sick. And he's kind of like crazy in a sense of like he doesn't think about what could happen mm -hmm. to somebody in a sp specific issue if maybe you're not a great swimmer so i'm like not a great swimmer like i can survive but i'm not like an olymp i'm not gonna like tread water for at half hour like i'm done mm -hmm. after 15 minutes <laughs> mm -hmm. so he's like hey let's go out to the sh uh let's go out to the body surfing area and i'm like all right and he takes me on the north shore of hawaii in february which the waves on the north shore in the winter are like 30 feet like they're like oh thunder God. like Shit. boom so he takes me to Waimea Bay and it's like the number one beach in the world where people break their necks holy shit because you because it throws you on it your throws it you throws on you on, on the actual surf that's insane like my uncle just yeah. he got paralyzed a couple years ago he lives in Cosimo Mexico we got like deported Italy but like ended up in Mexico but he was snorkeling and the wave just just took so pick, and, and his you neck put, he, put he you right on your head paralyzed that's yeah. crazy Dude, that's, bro so I'm I'm walking with Jake and there's a guy on the beach and he's like telling everybody he's like if you if you're not a very good swimmer and you're not from the area don't get in the water. So I'm like fuck. I'm like should I go in the water? He's like <laughs> what do you consider yourself a good swimmer? So he he goes in the back of his truck. He's like oh I got it. hold on. And he's like I only got two flippers. I'll give you one and I'll take one. You'll be fine. And I'm like these are size tens. I'm a thirteen. Like they don't even fit my foot. He's like oh you're fine. So I go, I go out there, and I had no idea about sets or like, cause in, in a wave there's like sets. So like you have a first, second, third. Like you never want to go on the first wave. I don't know that. So like first <laughs> wave, I try to go, fucking thing just bodies me onto the sand, and I like hit my like. Uh, oh, close, so close. I didn't which where I was. I was up down. I started swim. Hit the hit my head on the ground. I'm like oh, fuck, it's sand in my mouth yeah. and my nose. <laughs> like, dude. Oh my so God. like I literally get up. Take a breath of air, get hit again. I get off on the beach. I'm laying there. I'm like, I almost died. Like, I almost yeah. died. No, for real. I was like, gonna say, have you ha close. have you had any like near death like experiences? We want to like talk that? about that, dude. You, you don't want to talk about that. I don't know why. Why do? Because I'm like, like I just told you, I don't like the deep ocean. Like knowing what's under me. I don't like planes like that. Like, why do people watch? stuff like they're scared of like is it like the adrenaline know, of, like, you like film? scary like, movies yeah i love i love horror movies like the paranormal stuff but that like now like when i'm late at home late at night and i'm like what is that noise like what is this what is that See, i don't like uh, me for me personally a scary movie where it's like jason or like some like some absurd one so, yeah. something that you're just like this is stupid yeah. the yeah. ones that get me are like the conjuring yeah, me too. I think those like are the scariest like ones. Like where it's like the like the haunted something or like yeah. the spirit and it. Like I don't like that shit. I'd rather just like watch Billy Madison, man. Yeah. Just any yeah. like any other. I Adam like comedy Sandler and movie. horror. Those are my two. But I don't like. I'm not a big fan of like the comedy horror movies, except for like some scary movies. That kind so of I was funny. laying there for like an hour, right? Just sitting there. He's swimming. Never came back. Never checked on me. 
He yeah. like comes back. He's like, bro, where were you? I'm like, I almost died, bro. Yeah, see you yeah. Like, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Beach, not moving. No, it sucked. So I mean, Hawaii. That's crazy. Hawaii is a. Hopefully beautiful that guy's place. not working there anymore. He's a he's Doesn't a fireman. Get killed. <laughs> he's a fireman. He's a paramedic and a fireman <laughs> in Texas. Like, yeah, insane, dude. How's the, how's your restaurant going? You have a restaurant? No, not He's, yet. We're, no. we're looking at one still. Looking. We're trying to put it together. What kind of restaurant would we be talking? We would make it into like a, it's like a, um, a bar with. Have you ever been to La Casa de Pedro in Watertown? And there's one in, no. in uh, used to be in um, uh, Seaport. Oh, it's really? It's like uh, South American food. Boys? Yeah, he just brought them yeah, in, right? Yeah, he's got those in. Yeah, I'll, so it would be I'll like South one. American food. Come on, a little You kind of can't myself. pass up a, a bit with, with Robbie. A bear with Rob. Is it wow, these twist off? Are yeah, these Twisties? Hey, I like this. I never, I never drank out of one of these. Like, bear with Robbie. Like this. I wish you remember that day. I was like, well, what, what's up, Robbie? You were like, what's up, kid? Yeah, what about that when you snubbed them? I never snubbed them. Kind of big time, does a little you bit. You were with your wife. I was like, no, I know. We're just we, were, we were in the middle of filming, so once I'm filming, I'm filming. I didn't even know more. it was you. He just said it. I'm like, who was that? He's like, oh, it was Ninkovich. I was like, oh. I'm a big fan, buddy. Big fan. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate well, yeah, it. We grew up watching. We grew up I watching. I appreciate you. it. Yeah. See these cores? Banquet beers, baby. These are good. Gorgeous. Just what I don't need. You guys like shorty. Just what I don't need. Cobbs. What <laughs> cobbs? You want a Bud Light or? No, this is good. Okay. This is really good with this. You going to week one? You going to be there? Mm hmm. We'll be over there. Shout, out, Col- shout out to Coach Pellegrino. You know Coach Pellegrino? Were I you do. there for him? With no. him? Oh, no, yeah. no. He's been here, yeah. what, past nine years? He, he was there. Too. I mean, he was there, but he wasn't, he wasn't like, like DB. Like, yeah. He was yeah. like making copies with Steve. Yeah, nerd in the back <laughs> office. Because yeah. yeah. he, he was like a <laughs> lacrosse guy. Yeah, yeah. lacrosse guy. Now, he told us this whole story. We got dinner with him recently. Such he was cool telling us this whole story. He told us how he... When he first, like, so when he was like in the, like you said, like you don't really know him that well. He was in the back when he first, because we asked him about meeting Tom, because like obviously everyone wants to know about Brady. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know how. He's like, but Tom knew my name. He asked me how I was doing, like all this stuff. I'm like, damn, that's like a real like leader. Like you don't even know how he knows that stuff. It's crazy. He's been he, like, inter- checked up on him. He's too. been an intern with the Pats since 21. Like I'm, I can't imagine being 21 just like working with the Pats like your whole life. Brady at 21 when he's like. Bill does a good job of bringing in guys that are. Hungry, mm-hmm. like, well, green, see like it. himself, like he's. They're hungry. He probably got paid like five grand, ten grand, like nothing. Like he was yeah. probably sleeping on someone's couch, like not that actually. Was, that was like Patricia. Patricia was like, like Maddie P. A, a like all these guys that they started when they were young. Of course, it's crazy how it's just like the military, like the way it's all set up. Like it's so similar of just like. Yeah, tell us about the Patriot way. Is it really Patriot how? Is it really like chain depicted? of command? Like, is it like really like do your job? I like think you, the in Patriot way is harder. In 2023, than in 2013 or well, you got to think about 2013. You get the Patriot way, but Tom Brady's there. It's like ah, it's, it's like it's, it's a more drive. so like it's also the kind of kids that are coming that's into. What I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The generation, it's, it's the generation. Like you guys are probably softer than you guys were. At definitely, this age. Softer, <laughs> definitely softer. I mean, like I mean, yeah. I mean, to an extent, You're yeah. Sure like yeah. I mean, if you if you watch like 90s NFL, for it's sure, insane. of course, of yeah, course. no, for like, sure, for sure. Like the dudes are just killing each other. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it, like even I was just watching. The, did you see Swamp Kings? You watched that first episode. I was, Swamp I was, Kings? I was about. I didn't watch it yet. I, I watched watch it last it, night. So, like even in 2005, like college football was insane. Like dude, the way I they're could, smacking even people. Even down yeah. south, it's like dude, that's a different yeah. breed like, they, down there. They used to do like King of the Mat or something. Like you couldn't do that now. Even no, watching you, the way you, they were working on the locker really rooms, practice. I'm like, you couldn't practice. The they had a 12 o'clock midnight workout on Fridays. That's 12 insane. To 2 a.m. <laughs> And like, then what would they go out after? Oh, no, they have games on Saturdays, right? Or no? You don't know where they would like, do it. Like just and the way he coaches, like I would say this. I think Bill, in the last five years, is has changed some of his coaching philosophies and how how hard he is based on rules. Number one, because they you can't even have pads anymore. So you these guys, even, you can't even have meetings. You can only have so many. Yeah. meetings. Like you, you have to put the stupid things on your head. You got to put all like it's so many different lack. Like you can't do half line. You can't do one on ones. Like hitting, you can't do one on one tackling. Like we used to do that shit every day. That's so I insane. think you're seeing the product kind of diminish. Did you see that hit on that dude in the preseason game? They find oh, him like forty three grand. Forty three grand for like no, a straight up. It, it was not a bad hit. hit. It was a. It was. Really? It was straight not up? a bad hit at all. It was like just a random hit, and yeah. they threw the flag. So I think Bills the Patriot way. It changes with who they have on the roster. You know, yeah. like when you had Tom, he always made him the the guy that you would say, well, 
you know, we can't pay you top dollar. Look at our best player in the right. league. Like, yeah, he's right. not making top dollar. What do you think of this Coors, man? I really like this. It's good, yeah. It's not really bad, good. isn't it? I, no, it's really it's good. A little, it's like a sponsor of the show, or is it just like... No. No, we'll get them. like the banquets. We'll get them. It's really good. Yeah, they're good. The stubbies. The banquet bear. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is great. This is me if I was a bear. <laughs> just like small Short and stubby? Round. Just fucking small and round, yeah. 250. Yeah, no, this is cool. Sorry about the South thing. You know, sorry about that. The what, East, what is the it? East boys. Oh, know. no, you're good. Oh, no, no, we no, don't, you don't no there's no beef. But I, I actually went to Celtic yesterday, and you can just like see the people who are from there. It's just like blue Locals, eyes. It's all because yeah. Celtic was all Irish, and Eastie yeah. was all Italian yeah. in the 80s and the 90s. Charlestown, too. Charlestown's, Charlestown's all Irish. Irish. Irish, yeah. It's weird, though, because like we, we obviously grew up here, like grew up in the city know a lot of people in the city it's just funny how like people are so territorial here it's like such a small city so there's so much like testosterone that's built up in there like if you rub one person the wrong way like you're kind of screwed so you gotta like be on an even kill with everyone um, but I feel like we have really good relationships in the city with like uh, dude everyone. every time we step out it's always love like it's yeah. get noticed so much like I went down photos, the feast it's... last weekend like I couldn't even go I couldn't even walk like all these high school kids were mobbing me for pictures and shit like all these people Sick. watch the videos which is it's cool it's awesome but I'm more of like a honestly a low key person like I'm kind of like more of an introverted person rather than extroverted so like when I go to sports events and stuff like we were at the UFC but our buddy Aiden got us in like a suite to just chill and watch because I'm like those fans, bro, are fucking insane. Yeah, everyone's like everyone's shadow boxing in the crowd. Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to fight. Bunch of tough guys. <laughs> bunch of tough. You see that? There's a there's a TikTok uh, thing with a, a guy screaming out, "Grab him by the dick and twist <laughs> yeah, it." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like just, just screaming out from the just, UFC. just people starting That's, trouble. That was probably yeah. Phil, my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. That was mine. Giardino. Do you have eight? What you have? ACL surgery? Mm. Me too, buddy. Me too. Right ACL, leg. ACL, MCL, PCL, meniscus. The I told whole my shebang. meniscus too. Right I had it in high school. How about this? Uh, up, I don't know how it was in Chicago playing in high school, but like here, it's not good like at all. Like I was bad, playing yeah. two ways. I was playing quarterbacker and, and quarterbacker, quarterback, quarterback and linebacker. <laughs> I was thinking linebacker, but dude, playing two ways. My senior year, I'm captain, all pumped. Just played uh, first half, first drive, second half, just blown ACL. That yeah. sucks. I, you I just guys on not, turf. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it was just non-contact. I just were running, stopped, and just bang. I knew right away. I was so, screaming. Yeah. I was like, my ACL. I knew it. The lady's like, you're going to be fine. Was, was, that, like, your lady, senior, was that your last year? Yeah. That sucks. I, actually, it, it, dude, honestly, I'm like actually blessed it happened because it opened my eyes. Like, I thought I could have played college and shit, but like, yeah. I'm 5'6. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's be real. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just opened my eyes in re like real life. You know what I mean? Like, I'd say it changed. Like, when you get hurt, I think it, it for anybody, when you have an injury, it, you, you see things differently. Like, mm -hmm. for me, I was kind of an asshole. I would say I was cocky. My first year, and it happened my rookie year, and after that, I it, it humbled me. Like, damn, I might not be able to do this forever. Yeah. You know, like I thought I was gonna play like start day one, mm -hmm. and the shit happened. So, I think that the one aspect of like the NFL that a lot of people don't realize it's how difficult it is to get there mm -hmm. and stay there. Yeah, I have people say so, that all like, the time. But that's similar to what you guys are doing now. Like it As is, you climb yeah. this thing and you guys get more popular, mm -hmm. to stay there mm -hmm. is the challenge. It is. Right? It really we is. witness all with all, all like comedians and stuff, people like the things we do like people on social media like in high school like who was popping like i don't even hear them anymore yeah it, it's a, it's very similar actually to, that's a great point it because is. you got to stay relevant you got to like constantly evolve and that's what i was kind of alluded to with like thinking of these long-term plans with like the media company the merchandise the coffee all that like you got to constantly think of like all right what's the next thing like what's the next thing it's kind of never like you can't get too comfortable where you are you know and especially obviously taking the moment when you can but you also got to like think of how can I make this work for the next 20, 30 years, you know? Especially yeah. being in our early 20s. Like, I feel like your 20s is really meant to like keep experimenting things. things. You got to yeah. keep trying to well, think. Well, at the fights, I, I ran into um, Steve will do it. The Nub mm -hmm. Boys. And then that whole crew of guys. Yeah, I look up to them with what they've been able to yeah. do. It's pretty cool. And yeah. you, you definitely realize that because they're all young, too. I mean, they're yeah, like young. late 20s. Yeah. yeah, they're in their early, 20s. Like but mid, late 20s. They took the their popularity and turned it into a product. That's what you got to do. Which the yeah. product eventually, because once that group of kids that love those guys are older mm -hmm. and like move forward, like that pod and all the things that they're doing, 
is going to kind of course fade away a little, little evolve bit. it into something else so they start the products and the products are what stay like that's the what happy is, dads bro. like that's what it is it's that's, everywhere that's kind of the main thing we realize because it's like end of the day like the reality is you you can't do these 30 second skits forever for money you know eventually something else is going to come along even working with brands like we can't yeah, do this like, forever like, who knows what's gonna funny come though in. What is that it? That shit had me laughing. The, the Florida, Florida one? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. When we were yelling across the yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually when we were down there with, with Gronk for Fort Myers. Gordy got us set up in Ryan Sherry's house. This pickleball you know, Ryan player. Sherry? He wasn't... He, no, he, professional he, pickleball. He's like friends with Gordy. <laughs> professional but, uh, pickleball. Well, he player. actually... He does with retired NFL people. He gets them... Uh, well, money back really, for yeah. like the disability or something but yeah, or he, he does the yeah those that, deals yeah. yeah i guess he helped like chris and i think he was it Gord, no, well, gordy didn't play it was chris Glenn. and someone else um yeah. but uh, anyway we stayed down there in this guy's mansion he wasn't even there and um we just we did that video because i'm like we gotta film something down here we had like this convertible we just rented for like a couple days and there's like um, a big lake across i was like yo we gotta do it across <laughs> so like. i'm yelling at each other <laughs> But yeah, no, that was a cool. It's kind of true though, because like you get all these people that move down south in Boston. Right, right. No, it is. South. It is. And yeah. A couple of Boston yeah, it's in Florida, it's summer. Like, each dude, area you go down to different f- parts of. I was just there, <laughs> dude. I'm walking around. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't. I wouldn't want to be here in August, man. No, it's no. rough, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, we went down in what? Sweating. March. We went down in March. March, March it wasn't that bad. I just went. I just went down to Tampa. It was bad. My wife's from New Orleans, so when I we had a house down there, and. I'm like, dude, do I really want to live? Here? How's that? I never been there. I never been there. Kind of don't even want to go though. No, I heard it's like kind of a cool area. It's a no? cool area, but you might get robbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's yeah. how it is downtown though. Put you go the jewelry away. You, you know? go out downtown Cross, and like, you, you, there's a good chance you get robbed too. Some in places, Boston. yeah. But I think it's even worse down there. Oh, definitely sure. worse down south, 100. percent You said you have kids? Yeah, we got three. Oh, really? How I old are they? Ten, seven, and four. Wow. So any of them getting into sport, they get into sports and stuff? Yeah, my seven year old is like football crazy. Damn, my four year old's a meathead, so I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> are they all boys? No, my ten year old is a girl, girl so yeah. she's like soccer. She's yeah, but yeah, she's yeah. I don't know. The boys are you, you treat the boys different. Of course you, know? of course like, you do, yeah. yeah. I have a I have a eleven year old nephew. My brother's older than me, so yeah. he's a kid. And like we played hockey. I played hockey my whole life, so he's like big into hockey, like five, six days a week hockey. So it's probably how like your son is with football, like like it's cool to see like through a different lens like how the kids are with the sports especially as a father it's hard for me because i'm a little too too stern you know like yeah when i go to a flag football right Mm. and i'm seeing these parents and they're like my son's gonna you know do what your son's gonna gonna go blow son sucks (laughs) (laughs) straight up though you're real with it it really comes down to the be real this is the thing that I, i think a lot of people are so far beyond reality at this point mm. and i don't know if that's social media i don't like just be real that's like, what such it a is good that's, point. that's such a good not, point it's not social media it's like no but i think social media trophies. people like people are constantly yeah. looking at things that are either beyond what they make or beyond like what really happens like what people people aren't driving that people yeah. aren't living that way right. so like you know you see your kid and he's running i'm like eh. He's not going to be a professional, but have fun. You know, right, like I had fun. some, I had some like mom talk to me about their 10 year old son. Like, what should I do? Yeah, like training wise. I said, tell him to go have fun. You probably get stuff like that all the time. All the be time. In, be in be like, NFL tell him to go have fun. What's the secret? What's the yeah, secret? What's the secret? What's the secret? It's like, like, there's no secret. Okay. Be 6'3", 185 pounds <laughs> right. in eighth grade. Like, right. That's what to help you. Do you know what's crazy though? When we were down with Gronk, like we were with Chris and his sons. I think they're five and seven, Heath and uh, Ledger and um, the other one. Do they hitting rockets? Like I'd never seen a kid swing like that in my life, and yeah, it's like it really comes like it, Chris is out there just like every day with them. Yeah, I but think also a lot that, of that Gronkowski gene is just different. Well, see, the problem is those boys are hitting rockets and they're trying to swing a bat. There's two kids in Cuba that aren't going to school, yeah. right? That are just that are doing hitting, it every day. Are, <laughs> yeah, right. It's you know, with a broomstick. True. And a bottle cap. cap they're yeah. pitching them these, yeah. and they're rocket those things. So yeah. I think it's it's that, but it's also it's tough as kids because you go through different growth cycles and all that. It's like you look at the Little League World Series, right? There's kids out there at 12 years you old. You see that throwing, girl throwing gas? Yeah, you see the kid, the kid from Chinese Taipei who was throwing 85 miles an hour. Are you serious? At 12. Yeah, but all those kids that pitch in the Little League World Series, almost none of them have ever made Major League Baseball. Yeah, right? and they're throwing that, 85. Yeah, besides, but there's uh, also yeah. like when I, when I was a kid, there wasn't like all these camps and training yeah. and mm-hmm. all the things to like get you in a spot where you're like being an athlete. Mm. I was, I just, I literally didn't play high school till I was a freshman in high school. 
Yeah, you didn't. I didn't play football. Like I was, I was too big. So when I went to go play football, I was like, all right, I guess I'll go play. What'd you play growing up? Do you have a sport? Baseball, basketball. Like I played baseball and basketball. I tried to in third grade. I played football for one season. I had to lose forty pounds Mm. to play. Why were you gonna play with like older kids or something? Yeah, Yeah, I was like chubby. So I was when I was. Like no, it was fifth grade. So when I was in fifth grade, I was 155 pounds. Yeah, yeah with the 17. Yeah. I had to be. Yeah, I was with the eighth 16, grade. Yeah, yeah, that's how we were too. That's how I would. That's why I never, I never played until I got to yeah. middle school, and then middle school was just like just went by. So then I moved in eighth grade. My my family moved, and I went to this new place, and they had a Mustangs. It was like the new Lennox Mustangs, and I went on the scale. I was in eighth grade. I was 185 pounds. Damn. And the guy was like, Yeah. The weight limit's 145. I'm like, all right, <laughs> well, it looks like I'm not playing. Right. <laughs> and then I went right into high school. They put me at offensive line. Oh, shit. I was a, I was a guard. Yeah. Offensive line. Just because they, they categorize you. Like, oh, yeah, what do you look like? You're big. You're, big. Yeah, you're on the line. Yeah. Put you on the offensive yeah. line. Yeah. You know? You're fast. You'd be running back. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. How was high school sports where you grew up? It was good. Chicago's Great. Good, yeah. good sports. Like, I was like in the sub, so I was born in Blue Island, which is like in the city, mm. and then moved out to South Holland, which is close to the city, and then in eighth grade, my parents moved out to like the suburbs. It was considered gotcha. the suburbs, but that school we had, um, it was like seven A, so they had seven divisions. Yep. And so my class alone, my senior class was thirteen hundred kids. Holy yeah. shit! Wow. You graduated with what three hundred, four hundred maybe? Like yeah. Ten white kids. We had thirteen. Yeah, yeah we had thirteen hundred kids. Oh. We had one black kid, same as Eugene. He played the trumpet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was That's like, like the just, opposite of our so, school. So my yeah. thing was, is I was in like the city, and then I moved to the suburbs. Got you. So yeah. my, yeah. I grew up in like a very mixed community. Mm-hmm. So it was like we had a bunch of black kids, a bunch of you know, Hispanic. It was just like a big melting pot. Mm-hmm. So when I went out to like the burbs it was literally all white kids yeah it's like and they've like, never seen a black dudes, person in their life kind of thing it was it was it was tough because for me i was always like yeah i don't i don't yeah you i respect you for what you are and like we hung we'd hang out but i wasn't black i wasn't hispanic right, i right, was my you know so like when you go there with all these white kids from the suburbs mm-hmm. like they're trying to act black. I'm like, why are you? Why? why? That's what why? I noticed why? when I went to college. I noticed that because, like, you were just saying, I'm like, we grew up in a melting pot too. Like, there was only out of 500, 400 kids, it was probably like 50 white kids in our school, maybe 40. Um, so when I went to college, it was like predominantly white kids. I mean, I went to college in the city, but I was just a higher white, uh, white people there. So I met all of them, and like, none of these people have like drank before until college. They never like like really been around a lot of people of different races and stuff smarts, and you, you know, could like, just see it like yeah. they just base their whole personality off of like social media or like hip hop songs they hear and stuff and exactly. it's like it's like bro you have no clue like, you have a, no I idea I had a hard time fitting in until I just would play I, I played sports yeah and that was kind of like my yeah but I only have like one friend from home like one yeah. one person two two and that's it yeah. two people that's it I met like real hockey because I played one year of college hockey there at UMass Boston and I met like real hockey dudes from like Canada like with the the lingo and all that I actually did some videos with like hockey lingo and stuff talking like a Canadian kid because hey. um, like hey. they really have like their own language but yeah. I just like didn't relate to these guys at all like I could play hockey with them but besides that it's like it's just so many different like even like I feel like I mean every sport almost has like their own obviously their own like lingo and stuff like a little bit like more hockey and lacrosse they kind of like overlap a little bit but um even like i mean you notice some even football dudes like i see dudes do videos on social media like Im- imitating different sports and like acting in different ways it's just funny how there's different communities in each one but um yeah no nah, man it's it's different Those you ever play tennis different no, we're about to play. We're about, we're about to play pickleball. That's on like Friday. ping pong, though. Isn't pickleball ping pong? It's, it's the, same the ping rules. pong it's tennis like mix. Wiffle ball tennis. Yeah, but it's a it's rules. a wiffle ball, but yeah. it's it's With tennis ping pong like mix. Ten- yeah. The rules are similar to ping pong, though, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It has yeah. to bounce. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to bounce once. You, you have to hit it after the, the one side. bounce. Yep. Which is like everyone's playing pickleball. Yeah. It's like up and coming. It's like a big thing. Like all these. There's like pickleball well, like places. Tom Brady's pickleball. investing in pickleball. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there's, there's a lot of people investing in the yeah, pickleball league. Didn't, Gronk, didn't Gordy just buy a pickleball yep. team? Yep. The Gronk said he wants to be a pickleball pro, or that's what Gordy told me. He's trying to be a pickleball pro. So, dude, we'll they see. take it serious. 
Bro, we we witnessed them play the brothers two on two. It was like, like diving. It was Glenn and, It was who was it? Glenn and Gordy or something? Glenn, or, and then Gordy, Chris and then Gronk. Chris and and uh, I just call him Gronk. It's rough. I just call him Gronk. And uh, they played a best of three series for like what an hour and a half straight, like yeah. nonstop. Like they were so competitive, bro. Like that stuff's real. It's like crazy to see it in person. Because I don't really know what to expect with with Rob, but like that's literally. Like who he is, it's like to the core. Like they're Rob's competitive, man. Right, he's the best. Right. Yeah. Rob's a kid, the kid that just wants to enjoy right. life and have to, fun. But seeing to, them, being, seeing them all together with like the mother and everything, it was just like, it was funny. Like the mom, dude, growing up like here, like born into the just Patriots, the whole dynasty, and like yeah. actually like being able to like sip a white claw with with, with Rob is just like <laughs> pretty mad, bro. Random. It's yeah. I got, it just makes me look at life so much different. Like it's insane. Everyone's just human. Everyone's just human. That's like it. that's the thing with the sports here is people love the sports here. I feel like they look at the athletes as like uh, like a more like these immortal guys. But it's like end of the day, you crack a bear with one of them. They're just normal guys. You know. That's yeah. why I try to explain it because people are always like, "Oh, what's Gronk like? What's this guy like?" It's like they're just normal. And dudes. another <laughs> thing with social media, dude, everyone's just worried about a follow. Like, yo, make sure you follow me. Like, no one wants to build a genuine relationship. No one cares about. Yeah. Like, that's what. It, that's where it matters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, followers, that shit don't matter. Everyone it really doesn't. This is. I'm. I'm literally the last generation of. I'm 39. Like I didn't have a cell phone. I had mm-hmm. a, yeah. like a like a Nokia that would dial mm-hmm. somebody, but we didn't have. Yeah, I got a Nokia when I was like 17. Yeah, so yeah I had a we Nokia didn't have, early though. I was like 10. We didn't mm-hmm. have like any social media, and mm-hmm. the first time that there was any real actual like online thing was Facebook, and it was only if you were in college. Yeah, you, were in col- you had to be in so college. like you had to have a college, college email address. Email address. So like I used oh, yeah. to go on there and so look that's for girls. Crazy, crazy. That's it. We like, had MySpace. Yeah, MySpace. I remember. Yeah. I remember. See, Facebook got introduced. Like I had my Facebook. I was in like seventh grade. Me too. I was like in fifth, sixth. Yeah, grade. I got my first iPhone. I was an eighth grader. Yeah, iPhone five. I, the problem is, I, I think the issue is too. Like you got these chicks. Like right, you got a chick that has a freaking uh, fan page, right, or the subscribe page yep. that has no skills whatsoever, right? Mm-hmm. Just hot, makes money, right? Yeah. And then you got all these horny ass dudes. Horny ass dudes that are paying twenty bucks a month. It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? It is wild. It's like, crazy. dude, to but make I'm, that I'm much. Gonna, if I did an OnlyFans, like I'd have girls though. Like girls are just as bad. Like if I show you some DMs I get, it's it's bad. It's bad. Dudes are worse though, hundred percent. Dude, I'm just saying, at right now, you know, there's not enough police officers, not enough like people that are laboring. There's not enough people. There's not that enough are pilots. There's, there's not, not enough, enough pilots. pilots. <laughs> not enough mechanics because everyone's just like fuck it, like. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber. Yeah, everyone wants to, it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. I, I Give it 10 that, years. It's much that, though, where it's a lot of those jobs get, like, uh, vilified, you know, like like being Bro, my buddy, my, today's like, collision, my buddy Bobby, today's collision. Yeah. He's, um, where is he at? He's in Milton. Is he in Milton? Yeah. Anyway, he, he makes, like, 16 mil a year just doing aluminum paint and body that's crazy he's like nobody does it yeah like nobody can do it so like he's making bank because there's not enough people that yeah. want to do it you see what's happening with like ups like they raise like their salary yeah. like that's gonna happen that's what but that's what's gonna have to happen to get people to keep working I'll which is fucking, crazy i'll go drive a truck on the side no see a lot of these people okay. that like never like really work towards anything in life they want to just sign up and get a hundred thousand a year yeah. It just it's it really working, don't work yeah. like That's that. That's the world is. It's, it's just, everyone wants a handout. They you just get out want of college, it. make a hundred grand, yeah. and then you're supposed to get a raise every like well, you, four weeks. You deal with that every day. Every day. Yeah. It, people expect people start working and they expect to get a raise in three weeks. Yeah, that's funny. It's actually funny because when I was in college, I was doing an internship at Massport at the airport. Like they run the airport. I was doing like airfield maintenance, so, like weed whacking, cleaning terminals. I was so cool with just like graduating college and then just working there for like 60 grand a year before taxes benefits which is a great job a great like it's respectable but it's so funny how i look at the world differently now because of like all these people that are making all this money on social media doing like that's the bare minimum yeah meanwhile you're breaking your back for like eight then, eight hours to make that you're money. dealing with the mental cases in there because yeah. when i was in the post office when i started cooking for the players and posting it, dude, I would go in and just get harassed, like go suck his dick and just all this stuff. Like, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just like a 22 year old kid just going to work, fucking delivering mail. Yeah. And these dudes are in there just like, just because of seniority, getting treated different. It's like it's all that shit's fucked up too. Yeah, they've also all been working there for 30 years. And yeah, like, they're just Miz. And you get they're all cool like stuff, weenies. Yeah. Everyone in the post office is just weenies. weenies. <laughs> yeah, that's a good word <laughs> to use. Just, just all virgins, bro. Just, just legit weenies. weenies. <laughs> there's some cool ones though. There's some cool ones. So how is it walking around East Boston for you guys, like in your uh, neighborhood? So, dude, East is cool. different because it's it's all Latino. No, but like, what is it now though for you guys to walk oh, around? Oh, oh, 
Um, dude, they are tall ship. You ever been a tall ship? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So that's that whole area is like it's like seaport but in Easty, like a little small yuppies. Version. A lot of yuppies. You know yuppies. Yeah. Those are yuppies. But it's all yeah, no yuppies. kids, two dogs, right? Is that yep, a yuppie? two dogs. Yep. Yeah. Just from like Do- Vermont. Yeah. yeah. Dog Vermont, walker. Just Connecticut. Yeah. Just from Connecticut that graduate went to college here and just stayed here. Those like the transplants that come in, but that's like our demographic. Like those people like love us. Like those kind of like white frat boys kind of looking dudes. Yeah. With like the the short shorts. They all look the same there too. You ever notice that everyone dresses the same there? They all have like the high khaki pants and like the fucking the Lululemon shirt like they all wear the same thing they <laughs> the, hat, back, the backwards hat the, the Ray-Bans what they get the Ray-Ban but then they got the little thing on oh, the, like the, the, so they don't, so yeah, they don't fall yeah, off yeah, yeah. No, I, I was just gonna say oh, you wore that fishing you wore those fishing <laughs> yeah. yeah no I didn't wear those I, fishing you definitely have something <laughs> you had to think about it I swear I didn't wear them fishing I promise you have something like and no I don't have those you like the Lululemon slides on no, these are freaking Adidas. Adidas, bro. <laughs> Get it right. Yeah. These are actually very comfortable. My favorite ones. No, nah, but it's all it's all love from everyone. I, but going there is like we get recognized a lot there. But um, I would say like I mean it's it's like not like we can't like go anywhere. Like it's not like that for us. But it's like you definitely get. I'm like used to getting recognized at least like once or twice a day. Like it's kind of like that in the city. Like week one, we'll be on, we'll be on the field. But like, dude, it'll be six. We'll be on the field and we'll get people yelling our name. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I'm on Gillette right now. Yeah, like, it's how is cool. this? Found our way to somehow, we somehow make found it our way on the field still, but we didn't play, but we still found our way on still the field. Found it. How about like the, the content, like this, mm-hmm. like you try to think about life experience like, to, to think of the content yeah, you're saying? Think of the content. It's really just growing up here, man. That's what I tell everyone. Like, I like I said, I grew up in a, a triple decker in East Boston. My grandmother bought it in the 60s, so like a three family house, and she bought it for probably dirt money, like. I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Now it's worth like one point five million. Hasn't been renovated <laughs> at all since she bought it. But it's just the the market has gone up so much in the location. It's right across from the airport on the water. Yeah. Five minutes from the you airport. Control legit um, baseball to the to the runway. For but those. yeah, but it's like an Italian East Boston family. So it's like you watch any of those Boston movies. It's like pretty much the same exact yeah. thing. You know, maybe even a little more like crazy. But I've seen like crazy shit in my house, like. My father fighting my uncles when I was like six, but like while my whole family's there for Sunday dinner, my grandmother just made for like twenty people, like stuff like that. Everyone has a crazy accent, like the Italian culture is like real there. Um, so seeing all that growing up and just going to school in East Boston, like you meet these characters, like it's real. It's not like we're not making this stuff up. Obviously, we're acting and exaggerating a little bit, yeah. but all the content comes from life experiences, but. To evolve the content, it's doing things like on location, like the deli thing we have going right now. Um, New Deal Fruit Deli in Rivera, they, the owners there let us film there. So we just kind of found the formula of like having new characters walk in and like meet us at the counter, and then we have that little interaction. Like that's going crazy. Like we just posted we just, that cop one, it got like 20 million but views. But it was on real life things where it's like growing up in the city. You see the detectives, they come out, they have cargo shorts on and like a Red Sox yeah. jersey. Yep. Just a white dude, like you can tell. Yeah, yeah. Just tell he's out. So we had, we had <laughs> yeah. one of our buddies do it. And I go, this is going to hit. And dude, 20 million views right now. That's hilarious. Yeah, and then he did like a Boston mom, like literally oh, yeah. like, literally literally like my shit. mother. Like <laughs> it's the same person. <laughs> and like we just like I'm like, Tommy, that. you fucking look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like they always find a way to insult you in some yeah. way. But like yeah, little stuff like that, like just built up, and we, we do it together, so it's kind of like a collaborative thing. Um, so like plus yeah, we just, grew up. How about when you you guys have you guys seen like City on a Hill? It's like any of those shows. Yeah, I, so I've seen it's City like on Kevin a Hill. Bacon. He's the he's the best yeah, dirty so, cop I've ever seen yeah, ever on a like, show. Yeah, um, like I've seen like Mystic River. I've seen oh I've seen every but single see, Boston movie. When you yeah. watch those movies, are you like they got it or not? Like, some it. some some of it's a little forced. Like I noticed in for sure. Like and we and we play up on that in in the skits too. Like in the Departed, like. Oh, the, I watched it actually last night. The therapist in it, the lady, I forget her name, but she's like, her accent is so bad. Like, yeah. it's like you can tell it's so forced yeah. and like bad. But some guys get it, do it pretty good. Like, I thought, um, what's her name? Is it Blake Lively in the town? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I know, I literally know some girls from Charlestown that are exactly like her. Like, she did a really good job. And, um, not bad. Not the dude who's on in Marvel, who's the dude in Marvel? Jeremy Renner, he plays yeah. in that. Yep. He did a really yeah. good job, too. Um, but yeah, they he's really good. I heard a story. I, d- I dig Blake Lively in that movie. Though. Yeah, no, I mean she's kind of hot, kind of into it, kind of hot. But yeah, no, I think they do an okay job for the most part. But like some Boston hotos, I'm sure they're watching this right now. Will say, no, they all suck. They don't know what we are. I'm like, all right, dude, relax. Yeah. They say the same thing about us. It's like, dude, <laughs> we know, know who you guys are. <laughs> you know, I think people just get offended too easily, though. End of the day, you know, what's the best Boston movie then? I like, think the town. I love the town. The town, yeah. Dude, you it's shoot out in Fenway. That's like, bro, that's golden. <laughs> well, Joe Mazzula watches it every single day. He says. he's Yeah, he's something else, Joey. Coach yeah. of Celtics. 
I really like the Departed, um, but I mean, Goodwill Hunting's a classic. Uh, you got to put that up there. Ted's the a town's got to be up I there. The, I love Ted's. Ted's Ted. funny. Ted, I don't, they filmed Ted. They filmed the the Tom sperm scene right across Tom the street from my house. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, really? Dude, yeah. Like you got the Brady house for a video the too. From me, they like filmed it there. Oh, that, oh wait, the with, big house where Brady was. Brady was in that in that movie, right? I think it, yeah, they were. He was sleeping <laughs> was in the house. He was sleeping in the house. And, and and the, like, still, like, really they were trying to get his right? sperm. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, they were trying to make like yeah. a. But that's what I'm saying. Like the town, they get to shoot out at Fenway. Like dude, that's so legendary. And then even just Brady in that, it's like bro, yeah, those are top. That's top too. The yeah, one thing I, you know, one thing that I do love about the area of Boston is you get a lot of different. Like just from the areas of Boston, you mm-hmm. get a lot of different characters. Oh, like, for sure. oh dude, like the accents, like, like completely different. Like you got so if you, you, got, you, got, you got dudes at Fenway still selling tickets. Like Scalping. dude, they don't even accept it's actual like tickets, phone, yeah. and they're no, still selling yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, like yeah. the you go the like you go to a, a Sox game, right? You got the guys out there hustling. You got the guys with the shirts. You got the guys, yeah, the yeah, sausage guys. You got. Like, I just I think it's. For me, that's why we're here. You know, I, I yeah. still enjoy and I call it home. Like we're been, we've been here for yeah. like thirteen years now, fourteen you years. Out the difference between well, you can go anyway. Well, I <laughs> fucked that up. All right, <laughs> you, hey, all you good. probably, you probably get noticed like crazy too. You must. I get noticed a lot. You know, what notices me fifty-five year old uh, moms. Really? Yeah, and they're looking at you, buddy. They still got the poster yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they still got the <laughs> poster up. They were in their late thirties. Yeah, watching they were yeah. Like, like, hey, is, are you Rob? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a picture of my husband's over there? I'm like, that's watching funny. you recover a fumble with your butt up in the that's air. That's it, just straight like, up. Trying to cradle the thing. Oh man, yeah, no, it's. I enjoy it. Fucking East Boston, my bad. Yeah, appreciate it. Wait, I'm so how is it winning a Super Bowl though? Yeah, can we talk a little bit like about Seattle? Yeah, like one. That one was okay. So honestly, the Seattle game was the my to me the best like actual fight like good game to where it was back and forth it was a great game and going into the game we knew it was going to be a battle we knew that Marshawn was going to be a beast we knew Russell Wilson was going to be elusive the defense the defense was really tough they were one of the, they were the best in the league that year so yep. you know that game versus you know the Giants where we lost or the Falcons game mm-hmm. i feel like the Seattle game was way more important on, not only for myself, but for the city, for yeah, everybody, for sure. Because it had been ten years. We've been ten years yeah. since they had won a Super but that's Bowl. That's the crazy thing for the city. That's like you know, well, ten years they won a Super Bowl, but majority of cities haven't won Super Bowls in twenty, thirty, forty. Yeah, they so also won like four championships <laughs> yeah, in between yeah, with like the four, Celtics yeah, two, and the Bruins. Two, like, but then the Super Patriots went to the you know they they went to two more Super Bowls. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. lost them. So yeah. I think a lot of people, which I, it sucked for me at the time because I'm not Vrabel. But I was a white guy that wore number fifty. Yep. So like there was an automatic assumption like, oh, you already got one Super Bowl, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> I came here in 09. Like oh, yeah. they yeah. hadn't they had a year that sucked and then like they rebuilt with like the Julie and the Grunk, the draft, that draft for Dev yeah. and Chung and all those what like a draft, Hightower, what a draft. Chandler Jones, like all those dudes came in and then like did another we did another push, another run. So, you know, when I got here in 09, we had that shitty year. 2010 was the revamp. And then 11, 12, we lost the Super Bowl to the Giants. But that was like the, you know, we got a hell of a squad and we're young. Is that the Randy Masio? No? Randy, no, no, Randy Randy left. He was yeah. gone. Oh, he was. Bill, Bill O'Brien was here, though, right? Well, Randy Leo was yeah. here. Yeah, and then Josh came back. That's so, what got me fired up this year, though. Yeah, I like I love Billy O. I think uh, he's a I think, hell of a coach. I think he but is too. Billy O's a better OC than Josh McDaniels. I don't know about that. That's we'll find out this year. Yeah, because if he do, he can get he can get us. Head coach though, Billy O'Brien has done so much, winning multiple divisions with the Texans with like Brock Osweiler. So um, we, you know, Foyer, like in, in fourteen in fourteen we had you know, Revis. You know, we had a Brandon stack. Browner. We had those. Browner, who's yeah. in jail for a long time now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attempted murder. That. Yeah. yeah. I'll yep. Do that. Yep. Um, you know, Vince Chandler, myself, High Tower. Like we were freaking stacked defensively. Yeah. Jamie Collins too was there. Jamie no? was yeah. young. Yeah. So when we go, when we were going through that week of preparation, like I just think back to where we were at. You know, we were in Arizona. We were preparing for this team. We had great practices. That you know, goal line two corner like we put in goal line two corner just for that specific play that pick play so like when i i'm thinking when bill was talking about that play that last play the interception the malcolm play and 
I think um, I think Pete Carroll just came he out. Just talked about. Yeah, it. I was just, just going to say I just seen that I just, video. I just seen the clip of him and uh, yeah, yeah, Sherman. Sherman. Yep. Yeah. So Sherman on his podcast, they were talking about that final play and how he owns it because they were trying to have four downs to score. Mm-hmm. He, he, had a, he had to throw one. He had to throw one. Yep. So that just goes to show you and like it wasn't Bill that play Bill was to throw Bill was on the sideline like looking at the personnel looking at Pete Carroll like he that he was zoned in on him we were in goal line base man when they when they mo- when they had another guy come in another guy come off we had goal line two corner the Malcolm went out and then you hear you know one of our coaches say Malcolm go and so we put ourselves in a, a pass stopping defense and that we had run that specific play in practice that exact pick play we ran in practice and they scored. So, like, Malcolm knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah. So, it goes back to preparing. Preparing. Bro, how crazy is that? Because Pete knew, He knew what they were going to do. Like, Pete getting was ready saying, for like they were the specific it. play. And then in that in that game, we were so ready to go. Like, I knew every time it was a pass or a run. Every time. Damn. Yeah, based on crazy. Russell Wilson. Wow. So, when Russell Wilson had a, his heel up, his right heel, if it was up off the ground, it was a pass. Wow. If his, ba- his right heel was flat on the ground, it was run every single time. Yeah, he was getting ready for the drop back. Every single time. I have always, I've always wondered, like, I mean, just from a fan watching, it's like, how much do you guys really know of what's about to happen for the play? You, I mean, you do your best to understand by, by formation, by personnel, by you know who's in what position. So Bill's really heavy on what's the personnel percentages because like mm-hmm. there could be 11 personnel and it's 50 50 mm-hmm, or it could yeah. be 12 personnel and it's like 75 and you're like okay i know it's run i know mm-hmm. it's run so when you look at the the actual players is what this is the big key for me and for a lot of players like yeah. okay if i'm looking at the tackle and he's not looking at me he's not going to block me you know if the tackle's staring at me i know he's coming for me yeah. if i'm up in a two point and the tackle's looking at dan and the tight end's looking at me you know, yeah. I know he's coming for yeah. me. So it's like all that stuff where you prepare before the game. Yep. And that game, it, it was specifically on preparation, and that's why we won. And it was crazy. Yeah. Like, it that all, was insane. It all comes down to the individuals, like, putting your work into those, studying, studying, like, And then Malcolm, attention. you know, Malcolm, too, like, he wasn't, like, Kyle Arrington was getting killed in that game. Yep. Mm-hmm. Malcolm didn't know he was going to play in that game. No, been, so, that like, they put play. him in there, and he was just playing ball. Like, so kind of goes back to just being instinctual like just having instincts and just reacting off of it yep. and just doing it and not like being tentative or being slow it's like when I get my chance I'm gonna go make it were you here for Atlanta too? yeah Atlanta was was, was last, my last that, game as a one, pro that must one. have been insane dude that must have been that crazy. game to me was like it was a, it had such a weird feel to it because we just weren't playing like ourselves mm-hmm. and they got on top of us so fast like Literally, we went into the locker room at halftime, and it wasn't like a panic. There wasn't like a like a screaming, like this is ridiculous. We suck. It was more so like we just haven't played our style of football. Like let's just get back to what we can do, and I think and I think we'll get back in it. And we slowly but surely, like once we got the momentum, they just they. They blew their load early and they couldn't they couldn't recover, dude. Because like it was like couldn't. what? It was like twenty one to three at halftime or something 20, like that. Twenty eight to three. Well, 20, 20 at halftime was it twenty eight to three? Uh, no. no, third quarter was twenty eight. Yeah, yeah twenty eight. It was twenty three. And I remember specifically saying to myself, if we go three and out offensively, it's going to be really tough. Mm-hmm. And we went three and out. Bang. <laughs> yeah, red <right away. laughs> So like when that happened, uh, it was shit. it was like holy shit. And oh. then when. We were on the sideline in overtime. Me and Chris Long were standing next to each other. We're like, dude, isn't this this is crazy? We just made it to overtime. Like, how <laughs> wild is this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we marched crazy. down and scored. You knew it was over though. I, I was yeah. I was gonna say. I'm like, was there any point? There had to be a point in that game where you were like, yeah, this is over. We're not winning this game. Or did you always have an idea? Like, we no. Can when they back. scored, when it was 28-3, I was like, dude, it's gonna be tough, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think this tough. is gonna so happen. How was that on defense? Like, you got to be somewhat like demoralized. Like, Jesus Christ, yeah, man. Like, honestly, it sucked. And like we were just like, fuck, like yeah. There's a part, there's a moment in football like where another team, if they're just rolling mm-hmm. and they're just scoring, you're they're looking around like, of course. What, yeah, but what are you gonna? The, what are we doing here? Like, what are right. we doing? When you won the flip in overtime, though, didn't you just think like, okay, game's over? 
No, not necessarily because yeah, right. You know, pick we got six could have happened. Like anything. anything, you know, like we threw a pick six in that game. Like it was mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. What that was Robert Alford. exactly. So you never and I learned this from the first Super Bowl when we were up against the Giants and it was the fourth quarter. I remember being on a knee with my helmet. My helmet still has the paint on it. Mm-hmm. Had my helmet on the ground. I looked up at the clock and I was like, dude, I think we're gonna win. And That's we lost crazy. that game. Damn. So it's like you can't. And, and, and especially in the NFL, like for me, I after that point, I learned a lesson. Like I'm never fucking around. Like like I'm never gonna think that we are in a good spot to win. Only time you're ever winning is when the final yeah. whistle, like when that final clock hits zero, and you're like, oh shit. Especially even sports betting, dude. You can be up first quarter, you're up fourteen nothing, you got the minus three. You're like yeah, then there, buddy. you I've lost by ten. It's yeah. like I've been there many times. I had like a. Polly wants in a Bruins game for them to be minus one and You a guys half. gamble a lot? A little, a little bit, bit, yeah. Like, I'm I mean, football. Small lovely. units, small units. I got my week one Polly in. This guy's yeah. a gambler. Uh, yeah. 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 You can tell by the Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'm not much, much of a gambler. My unit's definitely not as big as yours. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not much of a gambler. I don't like that. I get so angry. Yeah, it's too yeah, much. It's, 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 it's all rigged, dude. Well, you, you bet with me, so I think you're going to lose that thousand bucks. All right, tell him the bet. What's the bet? Yeah, I bet him that Zappy won't throw a pass this year. Thousand bucks? Would you take it? That Zappy will not throw oh, one dude, pass. You get, I would. I will take Zappy's going to throw a pass. There you go. One pass, bro. The one whole pass. Year. They could be up like Max, two scores. Zappy yeah, comes but you, in. But what's what's Bill O'Brien and Bill Belichick going to do if you're up by two scores? You put your back and quarterback in the game. If they're not going to let him throw the ball, it's just gonna he's going to run. Off, I would take that. And I'll take that. I took it. I, the, the, come on now, like you that's would take easy. That. That's easy like money. It. Oh, that's yeah. weird. Like, I would take it just because I love Mac Jones just broke. Mac Jones. Mac Jones goes down. Stubs a toe, cries off the field. You, you thought you were all set with that Bruins uh, bet you put in. What was the Bruins bet? You better to win the Stanley I, Cup. I, I did. Oh, well, that, I mean, that's, that's, dude, yeah, that's, that's a tough task, though. That's I mean, uh, I thought the Celtics were going to win it I all. Mean, the Bruins yeah, were yeah, did have the craziest too. record of all time. So I mean, that wasn't a crazy bet by any means, but Jesus that's Christ, that they that, that's that they the first ever themselves. sports bet. Oh Just really? No, they paid me ten grand to go and make a bet for freaking Facebook. Uh, shit. Well, that's nice. Facebook, MySpace. Bands. No, MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> MySpace. Well, it's irrelevant now because it's gone. Yeah. What? Freaking uh, barstool sports betting is you done. You going tonight? It barstool? Well, it's not. It done. was barstool. Yes, yeah, done. It's, it's, well, no, it's just that they they they, they are, sold to ESPN. Yeah, they're out of it though. Yeah, barstool's out of it, but yeah. that, that sports book, just like MySpace, you can still play best on the sports. Yeah, book, it's yeah. the same thing. It's just it's, instead of it's it ESPN being, now. You guys could definitely get an easy sports betting partner on here, right? You I'll do it for you guys. Just yeah, we take five percent. Couple little DK, a little DK action or something. Yeah. What's your favorite sports book to bet on? Do you have a favorite one? I've been just rolling win bet. Right yeah. now, just because I'm cool. they just closed down or no? I think they're all. I just put my week one bed in too. <laughs> they closed? You're not seeing that. When I heard, I, I heard they ceased like operations or something. A couple of people told me that. Really? Yeah. My yeah. bet's in, buddy. So. I mean, they better get you that money back. I think my lock pick is. They have to. It's is, all regulated. I think so. uh, week one, Rabel versus uh, Saints is a lock. What's your parlay? Can you give me a parlay? Do you took, know I got Pats plus four at home. Pats plus yeah. four. Brady. Oh, it's mean, actually five right <laughs> now. Because you're out of your mind. Out of your mind. <laughs> plus I know. four. They should, they should get pumped, right? The whole public. I got a... Uh, hey, everyone's pumped until they get hit in the face. I right? took, yeah. I took uh, Buffalo at home. Money line. Who are they playing? Jets. That's, that's a tough one. I just took it. I just took Mike it. Mike White almost beat I got a... Uh, who else do I got? I love Jacksonville money line versus the Colts. I'm sorry, you I'm, can't you change know, quarterbacks you know every year. You can't do it. Jacksonville Super Bowl appearance. Stop, stop. I uh, stop. wouldn't. Th- I like them week one at least. I mean, I'm going. Hey, yeah, week dude, one against the Colts. Throw 100 Colts bucks on Jacksonville <laughs> Super Bowl. But Trevor Lawrence though, like he might be an MVP season this year. That's what I'm saying. You never know. Him, Justin Field. Justin Field's gonna have a good year too. He's, yeah, he should. That's your that's your hometown. Yeah, I like them this year. Dude, yeah, DJ, too, but I don't think I don't. DJ Moore's a beast. Dude. I don't know. If the, I, I think they'll be a lot better than they were last year. You guys do fantasy this year? Do you do fantasy? Yeah. We'll do it, yeah. You do fantasy football? I did it last year, yeah. No. You know who? It's a big test. For, I feel like for Mahomes this year, they don't got no one, really. They got Kelsey. I'm, Casey, I'm down on KC. You kind of yeah. have to be. They yeah. got worse. Like, who do they have? I don't think they're... I think... I'm down you know, Casey Super and Bowl, Buffalo. like all that stuff. Like, I like Buffalo's ain't. down, too, because Diggs, uh, Diggs don't want to be up, there. If Mahomes, like, somehow gets 12, like, a, more than 12 wins this year, it's kind of... Impre- like, it really is impressive. Do they yeah. have no one? This was, like, a debate. I think I can't remember who it was talking about. How many Super Bowls does Mahomes need to win to surpass Brady? That's like that's, that's like the same thing with LeBron and Jordan. Like, that's that shit. It's, it's, they, no. they were talking about this. I think it was like NFL Live or something. They said like if he wins four, I'm like, 
No, I, 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 but it doesn't no. make it, in order to surpass Brady. You, you have, have to have, have more Super Bowls, Super Bowls, right? <laughs> That's how I feel too. Yeah. I'm like, that, and Brady beat him every time. No sense to me. For me, it's not just like being. Well, it all comes down. Brady beat him in the Super Bowl, so that's really that. He beat him in New England too, right? Or is that? Yeah, he beat him in New England, right? 2019. You know who it's make or break this year? Baltimore. I got them week one minus ten. Yeah, they should I fucking. Think, I they think should. Baltimore. They should kill Houston week one. I think will be good. I think. Uh, well, I think Lamar will probably get injured this well, year. Well, listen, it's Lamar got paid. He got weapons. It's really up. If they don't make the AFC Championship, the coach got to go. Fa- yeah, coach exactly. got to go. The problem, Lamar. Lamar. Coach got to go. There's no. Lamar, ex- will, Lamar will play like ten or eleven games. There's no excuse this year, dude. For them. seventeen weeks, like I don't, I don't see him making seventeen. But weeks. I've seen that the, he's not going to be running as much. But we'll see though. That'll be a dude, lot the better. Is he going to throw a guy like that? Doesn't see his guys. They kind of stack He's, too. Like they, they got a good team. That's coach though. I, Flowers is going to be like their their big ass. Big, yeah, Zay, for sure. Big yeah. Zay. Yeah. Who else though? Who else? Who else? Do I I mean, they got OBJ. No. Remember when S- Hopkins came Andrews here on an back. official two day visit? I sneakily to took. Um, yeah. That was cool. Work don't, and I think Seattle. I think Seattle will be good too. I see everyone's yeah. high on. I seen the dude yeah. just broke his wrist. The number one pick. Oh really? Wait, yeah. he broke a bone in his yeah. wrist. Dude, I don't know. Sounds Geno Smith, you play 10 years. You got one good season. Everyone's high on him, but yeah. he's a backup for fucking nine like years. Carroll, I think he's... A team that'll be a lot better than they were oh, last good year. Coach. That's what a co- I took a, a lot good coach. I actually got... Broncos are going to blow. They're going to be a lot, a lot better than last year. <laughs> no. Broncos, I think the Raiders will be better. better. I think they're a seven-win team. But that's... No. Yep. The, the Russell win, is win, done. Win, Dude, Russell win, Wilson's win, done. Did you see that first preseason game? Dude, that was bad. He looks so bad. Stidham is bad too. Because you gotta remember, Sean Payton has no ties to 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 Russell because he, Sean. He took but over dude, now. everyone gasses up Sean Payton. What, what, what he's made Sean, one Super Bowl. He Sean, won one. He won yeah. one. <laughs> he's never had really good teams though. I, that, that's bullshit yeah, though. Yeah, Drew Brees. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 pretty good teams. Good quarterback. He had pretty good receivers. He had, no, he had, yeah, he had Jimmy everything. Graham. Good defense. He's, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham just had a heart Michael attack. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Graham just, Jimmy Graham got to get off the field. Michael Thomas. <laughs> what happened to What happened to him? Right. Oh, I was just gonna say he that had a brain tumor or something. Fantasy. Heartburn or something. something I don't know. Michael like Thomas. Like a, heartburn? No, no I'm just like medication both. or something like. That. No, oh, he yeah, medication. He was probably high off his ass. Yeah. They're not afraid to do that now and throw players out for that. They freaking arrested him. He said Wander Franco of the of the the Rays. In baseball, you see him. I know what I'm saying. They said he had a medical emergency seizure. Yeah, they I know, but him. but they're not afraid. Like they don't cover that stuff up anymore. They just they'll, they'll throw a player. A lot of yeah, because everyone. If you high. covered it up, like Jack Jones would be covered. I was up right literally now. just you just took the words out of my mouth. Like, is he is he playing this year? What's going on with him? Yeah, he's playing because they're not gonna. It's not gonna, they continued the case to after. This you know, it's yeah. funny. Like I walk into Logan and it literally just says like, "No guns allowed. No just please don't bring him in." How do you it's know like, you don't have a gun in your bag? I'm trying to get him Come on. on. Our, I'm trying to get him on our podcast. We have a connection with him, so we'll see. How do you? Really how do you not? How do you? How do you that. have a gun in a bag and you just didn't use well, it? It wasn't a gun. Two guns. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Even like, buddy, what are you gearing up for? But first of all, you know how. What are you gearing up for? We're doing dual you pistols. You pick you up a bag and you got a pair. You got a t-shirt and a pair of socks in there. Like, oh yeah, that's some packed and ready to go. It has to be a mistake because you can't think like I'm gonna get my guns. Well, you don't ever know though, because you got an NFL, you NFL a player. Of he's like, you can't even I mean, fuck a bottle of water. But you, you got to meet some of these players, the young kids. It's like, damn, like I, I'm that dude. I'm an NFL. Like I can do whatever I, I want. I can do what I want. Hey, look yeah, at Hernandez. Go. With JC Jackson. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I drove Rip. by his house actually. My bro, or his old house. My brother lives in North Attleboro, where like all that, where you got like arrested with the the Hernandez. Remember the Hernandez thing? Remember people would do that yeah. with that? Yeah. That tough. Dude. Tough. I'll never forget. His brother just got arrested. Oh really? Uh huh. Yeah, he was planning a mass. I seen that. Actually, I seen yes. that. Oh, yeah, oh. he was planning some uh, mass shooting. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. fuckery going on in that family. Some I don't know what's going on. <laughs> a lot of fuckery. Too many concussions. The, the you see the? Uh, how about the Johnny Manziel Probably. documentary? What's the Johnny I did Manziel see that, thing? Yeah, that was it's, actually sick. He's cool, another right? goat, bro. I'm sorry. So he's, he, just, <laughs> he is. Bro. He's another goat. He he definitely he. So he, they made up that his family had money. Oh yeah! Didn't they so, say they made that up? Yeah, yeah, they said that they made all that up. Yeah, but it, I don't it, remember it any makes, of that. Uh, what's it, Kingsbury? Because what's terrible. he making now? He spent all that cash. Kingsbury's with everyone, huh? Oh, he must have yeah, fucked them. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, Kingsbury. Kingsbury screwed uh, Johnny Manziel up. I think dude, he's the one. You see, he's opening was... a bar in Texas. I'm like, oh, pretty he's good market. Be I like guess. <laughs> he's opening a bar in Texas, where his old uh, Texas A&M is. Oh, at Texas A&M. Yeah, that's smart though. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what you got to do right now. I mean, I he should have been doing. Bro, that. I guarantee he's making a lot of money off merch and stuff, especially after that Netflix well, thing drop. If you have a bar there, though, it's by Texas A&M, like he's a god down there. So yeah. Yeah. think about this though, too. If they had that, like the deals in college, the NILs. Yeah, yeah, like when he was there, he would have made. Oh, st
I mean, that was a big part why he did good there too. Though Mike Evans was catching everything. Dude was a beast. You see Wander Franco though in Major League Baseball? No. What with him? No. I didn't see that. No. Wander Franco's probably top ten player in baseball. What happened to him? Tampa, uh, right? Wander Franco. What? Was he on Tampa? Yeah, Tampa. Yeah. Uh, he got caught with like fourteen year old girls. Oh, I saw that. I thought that was. I thought that was. I fake. don't understand that no. though. It's like, dude, like that's that's fucked up. They're saying he's gonna be banned for life from baseball. That, he's you like should. one of the top. Yeah, well, should. I mean, how could you share a locker room, right? Like, you, like a lot of those guys. You have, have, a, you have a veteran old player that has probably, a fourteen year old daughter. Yeah. And you got Wander Franco. Bro, when you see a 14 year old girl, though, it's like, dude, like, that's, that's, that's a little head. girl. It's not just one, it's like 10. Wait, dude, that's what? fucked really? up. Multiple? Yeah. yeah. No, nah, he's, he's, he's under investigation. To make he needs to go right away. Now. Yeah, I'll see you That's later. fucked up. I don't like that shit. Nah, that, no. that's, that's, uh, that's. I got a 10 year old daughter. Right. Know. That's, that's what I'm like. Up. I can't even imagine being a father and, like, just right. seeing that. year old daughter. Yeah, you beat his. You fucking <laughs> chop his fucking dick off. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah, no. That's the crazy It's on a different level. It's just the crazy thing with. See a lot of buying citizen. What is it? Yeah. That movie Law Abiding no, Citizen. No, You've never seen that? Really no, what is you it? You gotta see that. Where? I it's want the you guys list? to watch it tonight. Yeah. Give me like a little like... Um, Law Abiding Citizen. It's basically like a dad's revenge. Oh, really? You He's... got a home theater in your house? We can come by and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you Are you you're like... You're in the city or outside the city? I'm in Norfolk, so it's like nice. 45 minutes. Oh, Norfolk? Yeah, nice. It's, not, yeah. it's, not, it's like summer. It's 15 minutes from the city. Nice. I used to be yeah. in Foxborough and then I'm out. Yeah, out a little Foxborough is definitely rough to live in. No, it's just not I was there because right? of the stadium. It was just really of course, easy. It's right there. You know, easy yeah. to get to work back. You know, I'm on the back side, so I could take that Putnam entrance. Yep, yep. So I literally would just go yeah. through, come back home. Obviously, you've had a ton of teammates. Who would you say your be- one of your best relationships is uh, on the team? Mayo is a good good friend yeah. of mine. Cool. Um, Rob's a good friend of mine. Julian's a good friend. You guys need to get Jules on him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I want to see. A fucking He's nuts. nuts. I've heard, some, I've, heard some, I've, heard some, I've heard some crazy things about He's Jules. He's crazy. Uh, Dola's a good buddy. Dola. Jan- Jan- What's that? Chandler. Chandler's, Chandler's a good friend. Yeah, uh, that's like Dane the Fletcher, th- if you remember Dane Fletcher. Yeah. special teamer. Yeah, that's like the core group I grew up Nico watching. Nico Kudavides. 2010s. Uh, the Twins. I got yeah. a, uh, Slate. Slate. Love up. Slate. He's still, he's still grinding right Last now. Year, he's still grinding. Should yeah, be it. Should be getting old yeah special teams I don't, like, are, I don't think it's gonna be just I think he's gonna play after this year it's so easy to play special teams right now you yeah. can play him well he gets two and a half million to cover it's, punts that's it there's it's great no at it though kickoffs, he really is. Yeah. kickoff returns those are what's his name's like these two Marcus Jones I like him a lot yeah. yeah but he gets the two but it's not just for the, for the Patriots not just covering punts like he is a huge part of that locker the lead yeah he's the only like, one like really left he's the only one left he's the only one left that has left. Yeah. multiple Super Bowl rings right because Andrew's only has David. one He's on his one. You got to talk about David Andrews. He got not beef. It's no. I don't beef think he's he got beef. He definitely. No. He, I think he's seen the videos. He don't like the videos. Think, think what was, was it? What was it? No, it's just I don't like, know. We didn't. We never mentioned him in the video. I just think like the whole like shitting on. Just Mac like just because yeah, we we got like the field passes, no, but like I, he's made eye contact and just like really like just stared at him. Yeah, he noticed. I didn't even notice. But I look under like his follow, and I see he follows like a lot of like the Italian guys on social media. So he definitely sees the videos. Definitely seen the Pats videos, but like he seems he's, like he's like he's a captain, right? So he might like be really I don't yeah. know. I, mean, I don't know. He's all right. He's I wanna, good. I want I want to do nutcrackers. Yeah, fucking run me over, Jesus. He's, he's a good guy though. Those guys. Heard no, David's good. No, guy. he's definitely no, a good bet. dude. Yeah. I'm just like probably his last funny. year here too. So yeah. probably, probably he's yeah. he's getting old. This was like ninth year or something. Yeah, I think yeah, it's his ninth year. It's his ninth year. Yeah, because least right. It's his ninth year. I think 100. percent It's his ninth year because when we it is it is because I remember we were when talking. I was old, he was a young kid, and I fucking hated him because he went too hard. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to talk to him about that though. He'll talk well, to your, you about it. Fit, I wanted to kill him. Yeah, fucking guy gave me a stinger on a Friday. Did he? Damn. You don't want those on a Friday. <laughs> I got a stinger in the in the army boot yeah, camp. 2015. So. How'd you do that? Q-tips Dude, doing no, the Q-tip no, thing. No, we were carrying. Uh, I was an idiot. I balanced it on my head and like oh. I hit a bump and it like oh, yeah, jarred dude. your head. Yeah, like an idiot. Well, <laughs> well, I think that was a hell of a show, boys. I was yeah, great. No, I, I had a great time. Fun. I, I want to get a Super Bowl parade. That's my on my bucket list somehow with one of the players we know. If we win a championship soon, that'd be cool. But, well, it might be a while. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hater. We'll see. Might be a while. Hater. Well, we're gonna have Archie Manning in a couple of years. Who was that? Payne Manning's nephew. Oh, yeah. Now nah, yeah. I heard something bad happened to him. Well, right, I don't, I don't I, think I heard ever something happen though. Cut the fucking show. <laughs> Cut the fucking show. Yeah. If, if Mac doesn't have a good year this year, it'll be Zappy time. Next Zappy. Year. Yeah, probably Cunningham. Like it'll be Malik. Malik? Yeah. I want Zappy. You got to no. get Zappy. You don't now. think it would Zappy. be? Zappy. I don't. Like in a year or two? <sighs> Fuck. 
I don't know. I got to see him tonight. When is he playing? Sunday. Sunday. I heard there was going to be big beef this week. They've been on the road for like a while, a couple of couple good amount of days. Well, they came back. I thought they came back. They did. They were supposed to go to Tennessee. They were supposed to. Oh, so they, they came back. They came back. They came back. So they years, came so. back. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So when they play, he'll get a ton of reps. Well, because he got no reps in the last game. Who, Malik? He was, he was going to go in yeah. when they Malik, yeah. when they called the game. So. Yeah. I, I mean, he'll, pro- he, I, he'll probably start. He'll probably start. Yeah. You saw him run like he saw him like for this much. You're saying just the one gonna... play, yeah. People going crazy. Come on. That's well, it. We gotta they, see. Let's see him throw the ball. Been talking to people though. Been talking to people. Oh, you been talking to people? <laughs> yeah, <ball>. craft. <laughs> craft. <laughs> craft. He's in the bucket no, list. Why? Craft. Craft loves Mac Jones. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he does. He's they fucking drafted him and he's paying him a salary. <laughs> he's gotta love him. No, they're, they. They fully believe in Mac Jones. Well, we'll see this year. We will see. I think this Mac, is the year. Make me this a believer, year. buddy. Mac, you used to be a believer. I was until he got to last year. Last year, last year was bad. It was a bad Mac. year, man. Mac, buddy, I want to see you shot on a bear. You were still fine. That's I had Big Macs. Point. I bought freaking Big Macs that one year. Remember, I bought ten Big Macs. That's what I was saying. You said that you weren't a, you know, a big, a big hype into Mac. You had the hugest hype ever. I was hyped into him because he had a great rookie year. Yeah, he did. And then he collapsed. But I mean. You got a freaking boob uh, running your offense. Yep, the bro. That well, was this is the year. Well, here's the, it's no excuses, right? Like it's either you, you're going to know if he'll be the quarterback in five or ten years, or you're going to know if he's just this is his last year quarterback. This 100%, is the year. Hundred yeah, percent. I think it's just the body language that really bothers me. Like I just I never seen Brady do that. Like I don't, like that just cry baby. I don't like body that. language. That's that's what bothers me at least, but. Again, Mac, I'm sure you're a The only guy, thing, though, is if you look at it, a lot of the players had it, though, last year. Because, like, Kendrick yeah. Bourne was pissed off the whole oh, year. Oh, dude, I've seen, like, I actually, think it's just inflated because it's the, your quarterback. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. it's more, dude, the, like... The training inflated. camp last year was brutal. We went to, like, almost every one, and it was just, like, watching. Dude, like, I've they literally, like, had Kendrick Bourne doing push-ups in front of everyone. I'm like, damn. He was really, like, just fucking well, himself last year. Patricia hated Bourne. Oh, really? Patricia was the issue last year, I really yeah. think. I also don't know him, but on the offense, it looked like there was beef. There's a lot of beef. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah. They're, but they're all talking about it in the media. Like, you know. They're, Where's then, he at? He's Philly right now, right? Doing yeah, something in Philly? He's the defensive side. But even oh, perfect Bill O'Brien us, threw, huh? a, threw a dig at him, though. Good. He said this isn't rocket science. It's not. Before <laughs> I end this thing, how did you get the nickname? Prejout. Yeah. Prejout the Poppy. So it actually. This is actually a good story. Yeah, I want to know this. Story, yeah. well, I'm half Irish. So I'm half Irish. Well, my that's dad's weird. full. It's a weird mixture. My dad's. No, no. <laughs> Ask him his name. Ask him his name. <laughs> Ask him his name. Boston, Southie though. and Easty. So oh, okay. Like, Southie and Easty. Dad... So I said Southie. You got a little Southie. It's like, I did, it's <laughs> I like Gangs of New York. Is yeah. Movie? Yeah. But I don't know, man. It's kind of it's kind of tough. It just kind of just happened. No, but you had that the whole story with that other kid or something and like. Oh yeah, growing up there was like there a, was a kid named Prajut. You called Prajut the Pop, right? right? He just like delivered. He worked at like this uh, kind of like sub shop, <laughs> just like making you like sandwiches. Prosciutto? I love Prajuto, yeah. Because I went, I went there. <laughs> love Prajuto. The Prajut. But yeah, yeah. I've really kind of just like stole the name. Champagne stole Poppy. Champagne like, Poppy. Prosciutto Champagne, Poppy. yeah. Poppy. I met my ex. Uh, Drake just dropped his album. So it kind of just like went together. So it just came together. We'll have Prosciutto Poppy Delis at some point for sure. That's the plan, like franchise. I'll never like work in one. Like, yeah. I'm not going to put You got to work in the first one, man. Maybe, yeah. For the content. You know what I mean? I'll lace up. <laughs> for the content. Yeah, I'll lace up. The content. Just be there for like I ain't putting 16 hours subs. In. Yeah. Yeah. Rings a bell. Sub. You got the prosciutto poppy olive oil what's your, coming what's out. What's your go-to sub? You have a go-to sandwich? It's Italian. We got to get you Italian. in the deli, man. Yeah, 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 yeah that'd be cool. To. Get you. Would Prosci- love to. I love the, the Italian. I love an Italian, but you got to put the. I like the oil and the. Oh yeah, we got the hots. Yeah, we hots. got the I best like Italian with the we peppers do on there. Yep. So what happens if you come in? We're like, yo, wait, that's uh. We just keep getting the Patriot players wrong. Yeah, that'd be great. You just stop snapping. Call Winovich. Oh wait, it's Winovich. 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 That'd be good. That's just snapping. You're snapping. Guys, come on! Enough of this. What was, what was, you guys want a pitcher? You guys are busting my balls. So you, you guys want me pitch to <laughs> fucking knock your heads together? Yeah. Sandwich. That's good. Let's go, me and you, nutcrackers. Yeah. <laughs> Sign the slip. Uh, huh? Sign the slip. No, we could it'd be do. Fun. I'd be like these guys from Southie. Right. We could, like, we could call us from Southie. From Southie. We could do a few different ones because we did like a scalpel when I came in. But what happens if I came in with the Super Bowl ring trying to sell it? And like he just comes barging with up. Where is he? Oh, yeah, the Super Bowl <laughs> ring. <laughs> It's like uh, from um, the Adam Sandler movie. What is it? The with Kevin Garnett. What's that movie? Uncut oh, Gems. Oh, yeah, he, has yeah, his, yeah. he has his ring. He's trying to pawn it or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I got two of them. So yeah, we were with uh, Lonnie Hoop. Lonnie Hoop. 
Paxton? Yeah, he was at our, in our suite actually for the UFC fight. Oh, for the UFC. Did you yeah. you play with him? Was he on the team? Or? Uh, he was gone. He was gone. Oh, yeah. We actually did a Joe and in, Druzy in fun too. We went. Oh, nice. You know Joe and Druzy, he's a good yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah, we Great went by guy. his his Great fun. Guy. It was cool. He's a really good guy. Yeah, man. Well, thank you guys for having us on. Yeah. We had a great well, it was time. a hell of an awesome. episode. One on one. Let's go. We got Rajudo Papi, yeah. Tommy, yeah. Tommy here. A couple yeah. guys from East Boston. Yeah, Garino, not Guadino. No, Garino. Gardino. That's Gardino. Garino. 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 Give me extra Jardinier on that thing. Yeah. And anyway. Jardino. So thanks for coming out, guys. I appreciate it. Happy you enjoyed your cool Coors Banquet beer. So this was really good. good. You guys going to get a sponsor for this now. I mean, no, that's what I'm trying. Look, we got where, can you buy, where can you get these? Just yeah, any like liquor store? Little shorties. Like stores, yeah. yeah, get a six pack of shorties. They're pretty good. It's much different, though, than like Coors Light and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's way different. I was going to say, it tastes, different. It tastes You drink a, a Coors different. Light and you drink that. That's better. You got to get it in the glass bottles, too. The glass you got to get the glass. No cans. Can't do cans. No drinks in a can. So you got to do IPAs in a can. I hate IPAs. I mean, I got to put them in a glass. They're nice they're, when they're in a glass. Yeah. Nice frozen mm-hmm. mug. Uh, glass bottles are the best. All right. Like do do the ending. Glass. You're the best at it. All right. Well, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DanandNinko.com, the whole nine yards. We'll see you guys next week. All right. Hey, season's coming. Let's go. Let's go. Zappy time. Seven Zappy wins. Time. Seven, wins. Seven wins. Seven wins. Zappy. Zappy. Zappy.